sorte. To avoid fainting, keep repeating. It's only a movie. 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 Hey! And here it is. Alright. The star for show. Me. Direct from some sort of dark dimension. Oh. Pumpkin. Gay guy. Candy hangover. Oh my god, so much candy. Happy Day of the Dead. All Saints Day. What's up? How's it going? Those candles are. Spray Hi. cheese. Where is it? I don't know. Me. Ellie, what's up? How's it going? Those candles are precarious. Shh. Don't set up your candles Good like this. Good morning, PG. What's up? Jim, Don and Chat. How are you today? Doing Happy all right. Happy Sunday. Jim, it's so weird when it reads those things out. I got a piece of coconut stuck in my mouth from the almond joy I had for breakfast. Hold on. Ah, oh, no, that's weird. That was like an hour ago too. Oh man. I ordered spray cheese. Where is it? What the? That's a bonfire. Bonfire. B -b 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 bonfire. Bam, bam. Beats a robot money. Catching. Yes. Happy sugar coma day. Sugar coma day. Sugar come a day. Cause we ate candy yesterday. Now we're in a coma today. Uh, yo, there was a lot of candy, man. Dude, I was just stuffing my face last night. We did Animal Crossing stuff. We were like looking around to see what was going on. Hey, you got the big pumpkin head in Animal Crossing. Now you can walk you can literally just start up uh, Animal Crossing and I'll I'll do voiceovers. And I can be like, hey, welcome to uh, Animal Crossing. What's going on? I think it'd be fun. I don't know. I'll try that. Mm. What's that? Twice cars, thank you. Just need more coffee. We all need more coffee. Yeah, the hours went back an hour here. So for those wondering, hey, where were you? Because I missed it yesterday. Here's some money for cafe. Hey, cafe. All right. Thank you. Appreciate Eagles. Thank you. What's up? Dark Skippy coming in. Three, two, one. For the manga fund. Yeah. Wasn't it great to have Halloween on a Saturday as opposed to, say, a Wednesday? Yes, right? Weekend Halloweens are always better Halloweens, you know? I kind of wanted to do more, but uh, apparently Twitch decided to mute a bunch of VODs, so thanks. Thanks, Twitch. You're the Grinch that stole Halloween, Twitch. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> anyway, let's see who's here. What's up? Dark Surfo Angel, what's up? Raven, what's up? Dark Skippy, Eagle, Lost Pixie, uh, Not Wild Whittle, blah, blah. blah. <sighs> Knight, what's up? Bloody Angel. Uh, Danker! Danker! We just had a full lockdown announced last night, so we went a small party of Halloween and shirts are fun before we're all grounded. Ah, oh, Danker, come on. Uh, I know, the UK's getting slammed. In some more bits because I love the Diadem Weirdos aesthetic. Yes, day to dead. Dude, it's cool. Hey, any holiday that... Soporte de calabaza. Hold on. Mucho gracias. I enjoyed the post-stream content you provided last night. I Thanks tried. for that. I tried. Hey, I am a... Sanitize. Look. Everything. Greetings, hey. salutations, and good vibes to you, yours, and chat. Nearly didn't make it due to an exorcist. What? But luckily my lawyer got me off it. Thankfully possession is 9 slash 10 S or the law. Oh. Killing me here. <laughs> Jalen, thank you. No, what I what I like about Day to Dead, it's one. For fund. I'm never gonna. Feliz Dia de los Muertos. My mom is taking the stuff for my brother's altar to the cemetery. Oh, there you go. Swank for you. the bank. Thank you. The interrupting cow says moo. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, dude, what's up? You can't stay here. I'm just letting you know if you're passing through, get your sugar skulls and go. No, oh, man, we got enough spooky things happening yesterday. Ah, oh, jeez. I hope all the alerts are off. 
But anyway, no, no, Day of the Dead is, is good. One, because it's got a spooky vibe to it, so I really like it. But it's also a good yearly reminder to, you know, remember remember those before you. You know, ancestors, family, all that fun stuff. You know, it's good. Hey, United States doesn't have holidays like that. We got, like, Christmas and Halloween, which is all about candy and gifts. So you notice how they're merch-based, you? right? Happy first day of Day of the Dead to my tiny bit of Halloween every day. Jim Shrieky you, PG. Pauline looked gorgeous in her Day of the Dead outfit. Eh. Jim Love said hi to Dawn for us, please. Jim uh, Hart. I'm sure she'll make her way in here eventually. Dude, we... All right. Um, no, that's so cool because, uh, you know, the United States usually doesn't have days like that. We have, like, Memorial Day kind of stuff, but that's for, like, specifically military stuff, you know. But, um, I don't know, I, th- I think, hey... If any, <clears throat> that's candy. If any holiday should be adopted by the U.S., definitely Day of the Dead. I think it's cool. You know, we don't have those, you know. And besides, you know, Americans are always such a downer about death. You know, it's like there's a funeral, everyone's like, oh god, oh god, you know. But it's it's kind, of, dude. I think it's there cool. There are more Latin American good bands than you would think. Our altar has fun yuns, big red, and circus peanuts. Oh, circus peanuts. I can't eat those, though. I, I would feel very weird just going off over to somebody's ofrenda, which I can't pronounce properly, and just start taking peanuts off there. <laughs> no, just be, I feel like I'd get a ghost hand slapping me upside the head. Veep. Bop. Boop. I'm surprised we are not seeing Valentine's Day products in stores. Yeah, I know. I got a, I got assaulted this morning by, hey, it's no Christmas. Was Halloween is technically All Hallows' Eve. We just go overboard to the cheer and munchies instead of the remembrance. Yeah, I know. But Christmas is supposed to be about the birth of somebody, too. But look what happened to that. Why do we got to merch everything? I noticed this country's real big on merch. You know, we got to merchandise everything. You know, at least the banners up there were handmade, you know. Good job on those, by the way. She, she reused the skulls from yesterday. Though. We're on a small budget. Um, Let's see. I don't know. It's just weird. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. Good morning, Pop God. Hopefully, Jim and Don don't eat too much candy. Too late for that. Where were you yesterday trying to control us? Uh, uh, hey, Pop Guy. What? I mm, got that. Read that. Uh, not too much of that. Did somebody say a few words about my. Fa- what? Everything my must be clean. Clean it. Speaking of merch, I got a date today and I'm wearing one of your pumpkin guy shirts during it. Oh, that should go over well. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, if, if it goes horribly wrong, that's my, my fault. But I, I, I guess it's a good litmus test. Thanks for the follow. You know, you go in there and be like, hey, how's it going? Uh, they'll look at you like, uh, Halloween was yesterday? All right, it's good. Nice knowing you. Later. Well, that's usually how how my dating scene goes. Um, Let's see. So how y'all doing? I've been horrible allergy attacks. Yeah, dude, there's been everything. Dawn has been having like severe sinus things going on. I think it's just changing weather and all that. Yeah, it's crazy. Hi, Pump Guy. Thanks for making the day better. Stuck in a hospital with ear infection. Nah, macabre cat. Oh, I'm sure my loud voice isn't helping your ear infection. I'm sorry. Uh, rest up. Really? Wow, dude, if you're in a hospital with an ear infection, that must be bad. Be well. Be well. I want good vibes for hearing. Hearing's important. Uh. Good vibes, macabre cat. Get better. Doctors, helping macabre cat. Don't mess it up. Somebody clipped that so they can replay it constantly. All right, all right, doctors. If you mess up, I'm coming to get you, all right? Macabre cat is very important to us here, all right? Hey, you don't want to mess with me. I'm, I'm partially Italian. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Make them Let better or you die. Also, speaking of merch, I got a bonus check coming my way soon. AMD, it may translate to me buying a shrieky heart hoodie. Depending on how much it gets taxed. Notice me. Oh, tax. I know. Save. Save your money. Save your money. Thank you. <laughs> Wind chill. Thank you. Appreciate it. Catman. Thank you. It's Lopez. Appreciate it. Hoard your money. <laughs> Thank you. No, we got follows. We got Catman. And we Keep got... Keep your gets to yourself. Groovy. Jim, would you like for me to send you some Papel Picado? I don't know what that is, so I'll say yes because it's a mystery. I don't know a lot of things. Well, I'm like I'm technically still new here. You know what I'm saying? 
God, those flames are bothering me. You know, the couch is probably lined with asbestos, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> thank you. What is this? Oh, you got, hey, gifted sub. Hey, Dino. Dino gifted a sub to Catman. Mm. No, wait, no. Catman gifted a sub to Zero. Dino did the follow. All right. God, why can't I read these alerts today? For the pizza fund. I need more sugar. Hey, PG. Sorry, I late. Had to finish my anime episode. Yeah, well, you know, that's a perfect, perfect, legit. That's a, that's a legit excuse. Are your feet warm? Go. Two things I don't understand about Australia. One, I have no idea why we adopted Halloween. It's not done properly here. Two, shops put out Christmas stuff at the beginning of October. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's the same way here. You're having a hard time gro growing your Discord server. Uh, I don't know. I barely mentioned that we have one. We have a Discord server. Thanks for reminding me. I don't know what to do with it. It's like everyone just hangs out there and posts stuff. And I'm like, okay. It's basically like having Facebook without having to deal with Zuckerberg. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, you're actually cold today. Cold? What? We got a mosh pit going. Mosh pit. Welcome to the pit. Hmm. What's that? Thanksgiving crying in a corner. Ah, Punk rock Thanksgiving. Used to be cool. Hey. Yes, Australia is a little upside down country. The land down under. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but like. Initiating self distract. Not today. I hate that Christmas crap is everywhere already. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just that's that's the way it is, and I think all of us are kind of should be used to it by now. You know, I just try to not to look at any kind of Christmassy things until at least. A couple of days after Halloween, you know? So it's like, then we'll do the Christmas cheer and then be burnt out on that. And then hopefully January will be better. Mm. I saw a foamy video about he's going to stop helping others. It's so true. <laughs> what? The, the I can't talk to you thing? Hey, King, definitely. Dude, you're, how difficult it is to talk Sorry. to people about stuff. Just because I'm used to it doesn't mean you have to like it. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's kind of like going to the doctor and getting your blood drawn. It's like, yeah, I'm used to it. Boop, 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 boop. Happy Dio de los Muertos. Yes. I'll be watching Coco after Dead by Daylight. Hope nice. you had a good birthday, PG. Yeah, that's if right. you're in the moody, shake your booty. I reject all things Christmas till the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, and I don't remember. Has it, hey, has it always been that way? Because I kind of, it was weird. Because I guess as a kid, you're kind of like. Halloween is Halloween, and you ignore everything else, right? Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving, and then you ignore everything else. And then right after Thanksgiving, it's like, ooh, Christmas is coming. So is it just that we're more aware of it now because we're so inundated with stuff? Or, like, was it just simpler pre-internet not to see Christmas stuff in the stores? Like, I don't really remember. Because as a kid, you didn't see a lot of Christmas stuff in October, right? When you're walking around looking at the Halloween costumes. You know, but I don't know. I don't go. I don't do Christmas anything until December first. Yeah. Then, then uh, to be fair, they showed a really horror movie Christmas time for some reason. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There is nope. nothing wrong well. with being loco when you see what normal is. If you're going to watch Coco, have a box of tissues. What? What? What if I like to taste the salty tears? You know, come on. Got to stay hydrated. Um, what about uh the what the other one? There aren't a lot of Day of the Dead movies, you know? I mean, yeah, there's a collection of horror movies called Day of the Dead, but, um, you know, it's kind of... What was the other one? Book of Life? That was pretty good. Mm. There needs to be more. I don't know. Seems like a, a very good, you know, a rich heritage to pull from to make something great, you know? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, let's see. There's Coco and Book of Life. Yeah, Book of Life is my favorite, see? Yep, Book of Life. But that's two. There's only two? God, isn't there another one like that? Because, you know, you got Coco, Book of Life, and then it's like, okay. Technically, what about Corpse Bride? I mean, they have songs and dance about the afterlife. I, I wouldn't kind of classify it as being culturally relevant to that. But it does have a nice spooky vibe, and it can be kind of watched everywhere. You know? Not specifically, nah. Yeah, corpse bride. Maybe. Oh. Kind of like it, dude. You've been zooming around here with the eat it. All right. 
Uh, just too dated that movie isn't both the church's movies, but I love them. Um, no, there was a uh, kind. I think there was a, a collection of horror movies, like uh, you know, kind of like a, an anthology kind of thing, where it's like, oh, there's like three tales of you know stuff. I forget what it's called. It could be called Day of the Dead. I know there's a picture of a lady on the front with the Day of the Dead um, face paint. We can't do that because we're terrible at it for some reason. Mm. Especially when the zombies you brains, brains. Uh, want to get more candies for the jack o' lanterns? That's already ninety percent Christmas stuff. What? No, yo, no. November first is supposed to be discount Halloween candy day. Okay, at least in the states. All right, don't start putting out the Christmas candy and everything. At least give us a discount on the Halloween candy first. God. There's George Romero's Day of the Dead, but that's something else entirely. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking. It's actually the movie's actually in Espanol. Mcbesbian. People seem very tense this Halloween, probably due to COVID burnout. Yeah. I'm waiting for Christmas pressure to be added. Should be tons of manic fun for all. Yeah, I'm just like I. I think everybody, at least in your family, everyone's just like, "Yep, 2020." You know, again, I keep saying this numerous times throughout the day. 2020 is the year of exception. So if, you know, your holidays don't go according to plan, Halloween wasn't as great as you thought, you know, all that stuff, a year of exceptions. You know, just accept that something might be different, and that's fine, you know. Right, I think humanity needs a shake-up every once in a while anyway to remi remind them what they should appreciate when that returns, which it will inevitably as long as people aren't dumb. God. UK, what are you doing? Why are you on lockdown again? What were you doing? Were you guys licking toilet seats over there? It doesn't make any sense. Ah. Wasn't like, didn't Korea have like no cases in like 200 and something days? It's possible. Well, I think they were More too busy. to clean up after. G -g -g Gross. Gross. Most Diodalos and Weirdos movies are basically schlocky B-movies. Nah. Coco and Book of Life were made with attention to detail to celebrate life and to remember those that went ahead. For them, <laughs> Spear Fund. Attention everyone, it is now November which means no nuts. I don't want to see a single almond, cashew, hazelnut, chestnut, corn nut, honey nut, cola, acorn, walnut, peanut, pecan, pistachio, pine, Brazil nut, Nice. Not to correct you, but 2020 is the year of hindsight. Wow, it's a bad reflection. I don't know. I don't have any hindsight to worry about. <laughs> hey, day one. Hey, go back and look at the Instagram. What was your first post about the, this whole thing going on? What was it? Uh, March, I think, 5th or something ridiculous. You were like, hey, everybody, wash your hands and wear a mask. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for listening. Uh, anyway, peanuts are technically not nuts. They're legumes. They're legumies. Yeah. So there. Hindsight. Yeah, the hindsight is you should have listened to me. <laughs> uh, ah. All right. Uh, then, uh, how come Go. Oh, it's follow. Thank you for the follow. Smells. What's up? Uh, you know, I, uh, Korea and Japan have had very low cases because it's normal for people to wear face masks when they're sick anytime. Yeah, that is true. I, th I think K-pop just, uh, I mean, Korea focused all their assets to K-pop. Boop. Bop. Veep. That's what they did. Festivus a day for the rest of us. Festivus for the rest of us. When is that going to happen? Isn't there an actual day for that? You, you know, historically, I imagine that becoming a holiday like historically and religiously like 200 300 years from now people will forget where it came from and they'll be like yes there's this one holiday for those who don't celebrate holidays it's the festivus and you'll be like wow you know all derivative of a seinfeld episode december 23rd that doesn't make any sense halloween hangover what's up mommy evie how's it going countdown is on until the uh, observes and what ah, this guy uh, the bag of Hershey's miniature that I got yesterday, I had more milk chocolate miniatures and dark chocolate crackle and Mr. Good bars. The bag only had one Mr. Good, one Mr. Good bar. <sighs> that was the cool thing about going to the stores. You can kind of look at those, uh, variety b bags and just see how many of them are in there. And then you can get the one that had the most. I used to do that all the time. I'm like, this doesn't have enough crackle. Put it back. You know, where's my Mr. Good bar? Uh, uh. Stop touching things. Yeah. 
Last night my wife had me host a small party I food so much cleaning including shampooing carpets. Her friends came over and watched Hocus Pocus. My friend came over and we got drunk while passing out candy to the surprising trick-or-treaters we got. Good times. I'm surprised you got any trick-or-treaters. Wear a mask! Ugh. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. At least you had fun. Um, really? Oh, I'm surprised when people had trick-or-treaters. Oh, yeah. oh. Saints Row 4 Christmas DLC had Festivus included alongside Christmas and Hanukkah. Yeah, dude. See, this is why I like Saints Row. Ah, oh, man. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you, by the way. I'm diabetic, so I don't get to enjoy Halloween candy. They're sugar-free. <laughs> Sugar free, sugar free. Oh, the song by Hamill on trial. Remembering <laughs> my dad passed away 2014. 2014. Good vibes, little Donnie. Uh, it's a good day to remember. Day to did. Why not celebrate? Celebrate the life you have. Yes. Dun, dun. Mm, thank you, thank you. Festivus is a secular holiday celebrated in terms of as an author of the president of commercialism of the Christmas season, originally created by author Daniel Lucky Festivus. Entered popular culture after it was made to the focus of the 1997 episode, The Strike. The Strike. There you go. It's always something, isn't it? Mmm. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, my name's what? What's the Why don't they make insulin candy? Why don't they make insulin candy? That would just seem like the thing to do, right? Hey, Pfizer, get on that. Insulin candy. Duh. You're a genius, by the way. Uh, let's see. There were some people in my neighborhood who did a drive-up trick-or-treat station. Oh, that's pretty good. You know? Drive up, get candy, get out. Mm. They should have retrofitted uh, car washes. Thanks for the follow. Um, to be like candy dispensers. So you drive your car through and just candy kind of just washes your car. You just open up the windows and whatever falls in, you get to keep. That'd be pretty cool. I would love that. Mm. That was choking metal apocalypse. You got candy endorsement. Got diabetes from it. Ah. Oh. Ever tried learning the cover song and realize you need to play more? Yeah, Rusty Cage is working for the crazy. He's messing up my stuff here. Yeah, we, we try not to go too far beyond our uh, abilities as guitar players when we go to learn stuff. Uh, I'm good with Green Day, you know? There you go. I'm good. That and the Ramones. Just give me some chords. I'm fine. Can't be learning guitar solos. Get out of here. That's for lead guitarists. Um, let's see. L.A. did have a drive through there. Did they? Huh. Sugar-free just means it uses sugar alternatives. Well, yeah. Well, if that's a problem with sugar, then you can't have sugar, then you need alternatives. Uh, let's see. That was uh, the Toki. Toki. Uh, there's a rumor about a sequel of Hocus Pocus being in talks, and they want the actors to play the three witches to reprise their roles. Yeah. I heard Bette Midler's on board for it, you know, but, you know, whatever. I got to tell you, I wasn't crazy about Hocus Pocus to begin with. I watched it, and I was like, that's not right. You know, but I saw it way later on. I didn't see it when it came out, so I didn't have that initial impact that I think most people had. You know, for some reason, it just went right past my radar until, like, 2015. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. Other her song, most of the country, the Queen style. Queen style. Queen style. Mm -mm -mm. I've had a good sugar-free candy. Well, one that doesn't make me... Really? Sugar-free candies? Hmm. That's what? Mm, all three on our board. Hey, you? A guy on YouTube made a guitar with a concrete body. What? For who? Danzig? I mean, who's going to be wanting to play that thing? You know how heavy that's going to be? My God. It's like Danzig and Pete Steele are like the only ones who could play that thing. You know, one doesn't really play guitar well, and the other one's dead. So, um, huh? So you're going to get what? That guy Your Thor? Your generosity hurts my heart. Oh! Ochi, did you see the new hell of a boss on YouTube last night? And nope. did you see the pics I sent on Twitter? I haven't seen anything. We literally finished up our stream, did our post-stream, ate some candy, played Animal Crossing, woke up, started this. That, that was literally it. Dude, we've been going like 24-7 for the last couple of things. I'm so glad the alerts aren't janked. But now I gotta, I gotta put that on the list. We gotta see the new hell of a boss. Hell of a, hell of a, hell of a boss. Man, there's just so much stuff out there. I can't watch everything. Ah, sugar-free hair bureau, gummy bears. Uh, wait, wait, really? 
How many of those gummy bears you're eating? You're supposed to only have a couple of them, not the whole bag. That's the thing. If you're having digestive issues with sugar-free stuff, you're only supposed to eat a little bit of it. I know you wouldn't have diabetes if you had, you know, like self-control and didn't eat a whole bag of candy. Trust me, we we know about eating a whole bag of candy when you're not supposed to. Um, but quite literally, you got to just you can have a couple of them for like a little sweetness and everything. You eat a whole bag of that, you will be in the bathroom for days. And now we're talking about Taco Bell explosions kind of thing. Ugh. Mm. Just saying. Just the horror stories. I avoid them like a blade. Horror story. I like horror stories. Uh, how can you not eat the whole bag of gummy bears? I know it is so difficult. Nobody says, here, want some gummy bears? <laughs> They're so good. I love them. Does that have a bow on it or is the heart beh- hiding behind it? You jerk. Don't scare me like that. God. You see what he did? <sighs> All right. At least now I know where he is. Um, let's see. Spoken by Butter Blizzard. Ordinary sausage made of Halloween candy sausage, among other Halloween things. Yeah. I saw that one. The Halloween candy one. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Why? Why would you do that? Diabetes is actually a huge problem in places where you eat white rice every day, too. It's not just sugar. There's nothing wrong with being loco. Yeah, Let me see true. what normal is. Murder hornet update. Two queens captured alive. One nest found and destroyed. Yeah, okay. Why are they keeping those queens alive? Destroy them now. What are you going to do? Bring them to the CDC lab and then, you know, inevitably have that movie scenario happen where they get out and become super, super sized or something? You know, let's genetically alter these things so they're not as murderous. Oops. I messed with the DNA and now they're extra murder hornets. You know, God. Stop it, science. You're, met, you're fiddling with things you don't understand. They literally have the word murder in them. What are you doing? Well, you know, you don't want to kill the queen. Queen's already dead, man. Uh, Gene Joe's had several great characters over here. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, I played Dead Rising. You're supposed to squish the queen and make the old nearby bees explode. Exactly. It'll be like the 70, late 70s Killer Bees movies. Yeah, Killer Bees. Ooh. Oreos in the freezer. What best decision you've made all year? It, aren't those like really hard on your teeth, though? Serial murder hornets. There you go. Then they get really vindictive and maniacal. Mm. Uh, they released them into space, and a thousand years later, if I be cute, dude, you imagine space bees? Ooh. And I think uh, he was doing a lot of fan requests. The brain one did not sit well with me. Eh. Mm, it's 2020. Don't mess with murder hornets, you scientists. Right? It can only go horribly, horribly wrong. Then Russia, like, reactivates some kind of 3,000-year-old frozen creatures or something. Russia, come on. Happy hollow birthday. Hey, there you go. Thank you. How's it going? Boom, 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 boom. Cheat.exe. What's up? Let me get a drink. I was, I, like, I didn't have a worms. They were worms, right? Yeah, they were like old, old, you know, prehistoric worms. They're like... Let us bring these worms back to life. Mwahaha. Because there's nothing else to do in Russia. I mean, please, science. They're dead for a reason. What if they're like those weird ones in Star Trek that get into your ears and then they control your mind? You know? I feel bad for Chekhov, man. He still doesn't know what he's doing. Getting coffee. Hey, there you go. Mega Murder Hornet. They should put that in, um, what do you call it? Mortal Kombat as a character. Hey, the next time they ask for a character in Mortal Dude, just make it a giant murder hornet. That'd be great. Murder Hornet. Hmm. Giant Murder Hornet from space. Space. Like one of those 1950s B-movie. I don't know. They're not just like regular hornets. They're from space. And they murder people. They're murder hornets from space, space, space. What are we going to do? We're all going to die. That's what we're going to do. I I like old movies like that. They were just fun and very direct. And when they ended, it was so abruptly. It's like, it's over. Wait, what happened? Well, you know, they shot the monster three times, so it's dead. So it's over? What happens to everybody else? That's it. Huh? (laughs) Russia sent a what? What? Sent a what? into a black hole what's a give 
Fallout did the murder hornet thing first. Fallout did it first. Yeah, they, they also made terrible games first, too. Um, I learned that they actually make jelly brains as Halloween candy. Ooh. Devorah is a murder hornet. Oh, the murder hornet. Oh, no, the candy has been replaced with fire. Well, it's... Eh. This, is why, this is why you don't get couches that were discarded in the 30s, you know? They're lined with asbestos. Uh, let's see. You'll be all right. Uh, swank, 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 swank with swank. Hey! Russian murder hornet worms. Russian murder hornet worms. We shall unleash them Fiddle. on the world. I'm honestly surprised you're streaming today, but I'm happy you yeah. are. Pauline, as always, looks amazing in her festive outfit. Festive! Jim Love. There you go. Thank you. Ah, she's going back to bed. What are we going to do with Jerry here? Can we bring him back to the school and just leave him there? Or we got to wait for this whole pandemic thing to end? That's stupid. I don't like taking care of it. Eats all my chips. Um, Evie! Evie! Happy day of the dead. What's going on? How you doing? Feliz Dia de los Muertos. I'm trying to say it and pronounce words right, but I'm terrible at it. I'm learning now, all right? I'm just a little pumpkin trying to learn the language. Uh, probably not all the eats. Probably not all the eats. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Three of the murder hornets. Really? Uh, anything that says sugar-free or diet or made from artificial sweeteners. Yes, I know. And those aren't good for you either. Just ease up on the candy, bruh. Huh? Voltaire has a Day of the Dead song. I think everyone has a Day of the Dead song now. Well, that's kind of cool, though. Hey, Rob Zombie came out with a new song. Yay! I didn't hear it yet, because, you know, we've been busy. I got to listen to L Storm, like, right after the stream, because I got a little work to do, and I want to I be in a pirate mood. Yarr! Mm. I know, it seems weird. New Danny Elfman song dropped on the 29th of October. Wait, what? Really? Where? Was it on Spotify? Because, yo, man, I follow him. I didn't get no notice. Ah, what kind of Danny Elfman song? I, I I will literally just turn on Spotify right now and look at it. Then I'm going to the cemetery to visit my family. All right, here you go. Nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's like the blob when they just froze it to send it to Antarctica. Yeah, just just put it in Antarctica. It's fine. Mejoras el mundo. Go. Did you know tumbleweeds are not native to the USA and are an invasive species? Uh, so is boredom. So uh, I, that's why they keep showing up. What? They coincide. Did you know that? Yeah, every time uh, a town is sleepy and bored, a tumbleweed just passes on through. They're attracted to it. It's weird. Greetings, pumpkin guy in the Another dark. Another human my collection. Hey. I hate daylight saving time. Um, I'd like when we get the extra hour because if we didn't have the extra hour, I got to tell you, we would have been janked this morning. We were running around trying to get everything set up. Uh, YouTube, Danny Elfman. Oh, J YouTube, Danny. Spotify, please. Hmm. I want to clean up the side around my grandparents' grave and all set to my family. Adopted my biological. Ooh, nice. There you go. Good job. Got cleaning it. Up. Here you go. Clean it. Uh, let's see. Weird. Uh, the start of the day to day to the fifth. Uh, day to day's not the fifth, but apparently not. But what am I thinking? Is on the fifth. What's on the fifth of November then? Thank you. Merry National Fifty Percent Off Halloween Candy Day. Hey, Halloween Candy Day, fifty percent off, right next to the Christmas treats. <laughs> oh my God! I really wish they would stop that. It's never gonna stop. We don't do politics. No. No, that's election. Viva Nueva. Go. So since no one is asking, after last night, mini marathon, they'll ask. Does Dawn still have your creepy floating doll in Skyrim? Uh, I would assume so. She hasn't said otherwise. But we actually watched that one. We were, we were like, oh, because we haven't seen it since whenever it was. I think it was 2018. And it was pretty funny. It was good. Better have that doll. I'm going to be so upset. Uh, thank you. I'm really Ooh. glad I'm not working retail Fifth anymore. Of November is the day of the gunpowder plot. Uh, I, I don't think that's what they were thinking about. Hey, hey. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. I, I didn't realize. I thought it was Day of the Dead, but no, it was the gun, gunpowder plot. Huh? What? I didn't even know that was a thing. What is that? Ah. Uh, Cinco de Mayo isn't even celebrated, to be honest. It's an American thing. Yeah, I know that. Amer America kind of just made it a celebration thing. There was a, I actually read an article by a guy who's just like, well, that's not really what it's supposed to be, but, you know, any thing that gets people together to celebrate is always good 
So, yeah. I know, Cinco de Mayo is just like an American celebration of like, hey, Cinco de Mayo! Meanwhile, it's got like a whole historic thing for over there. Just, way to go, America. Uh, let's see. Mm, fifth, uh, no, it's got that. Remember the 5th of November. There we go. Uh, watch the commands to get us through this What? Mm, Remo Williams. <laughs> oh, God. Remember, the, okay, we're going to do the 5th of November thing now. Oh, God, that's coming up. Uh, fun's getting crazy, especially in the UK. You know, you got a whole thing going on. Lockdown's coming, coming, and uh, hey, going to be a problem, isn't it? The robot uprising is near. Go. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the trees and the gunpowder that blot. For I can think of no reason why the gunfire treason should ever be forgot. Most people only know Guy Fake Day due to V for Vendetta. Guy Fake Day. It's Guy Fake Day. <laughs> That's where fake news started from. Guy fakes. <laughs> thanks, thanks, robot. You kind of, you kind of just messed that up. Yeah, it's guy fakes day. <laughs> ah, all right. Also, they are not murder hornets. What do you mean they are not murder hornets? But they murder. Oh man. Tomorrow is All Souls Day and my birthday. Oh, nice. Happy birthday tomorrow. Let's get a eh, birthday. Happy birthday tomorrow. Hey, close enough. What? I'm not going to be on tomorrow. Are you crazy? As, as it is, I might have to do a late stream on Wednesday again. Oh, we'll see what's going on. Happy birthday. Ah. Cha cha cha. All right. Mm, we need a gun right over. No, we don't. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, everyone say, hey, hey, don't, don't get too involved with politics. There's an election. You vote. And that's it. What's up? Dawn's here. Hi. Happy Candy Hangover Day. And Day of the Dead. And Day of the Dead. Yeah. Dia de los Muertos. I ate all the Almond Joys. I know. We have no more Almond Joys. We're Almond Joyless right now. Uh, so how you going? Huh? How you going? How you doing? How it be? My belly isn't happy. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Hi. Take a rest, thank you. What's up? So, like, what, huh? Do I still have a doll? For the manga fund. Dawn, did you still have the doll in Skyrim? Also, broke the pumpkin. No, no, your hands are not Remember clean. Remember to clean your brows at history. Your hands are not clean. Hello, Dawn. I hope you're having a good day. Yes, I am. You Año nuevo, vida it. nueva. Well, I saw the Closest headache. to political I get is I'm a resident, not a citizen of the U.S. I'm not allowed to vote. Oh, there you go. But everywhere I go online, it reminds me to vote. Uck. <laughs> But you know why they call it America? We Canadians stole the A. Ah, that's pretty good. If you're in the moody, ah. shake your booty. What's up? I got a new door knob for my bedroom. That is, that is the... Easy. Everything. Hold on. Morning dawn. That is one of the oddest alerts I've ever had. You gotta be Boop. grateful for the Bop. little things. Beep. All hail dawn, the queen of beers. Should I? Broke the pumpkin. My God, I say you like beer and people think you're a raving alcoholic just <laughs> sitting on a throne of empty beer bottles. Like, what is it? What is it with you people? You know, I was like, yeah, she likes beer every once in a while. Oh, <laughs> the queen of beers. It's like. You will need these post Halloween beer bits. Ooh, beer bits. See? That's why we can't save money. He keeps drinking on a, on a throne of beer bottles, allegedly, according to chat. Well, I guess new doorknob is, is kind of something to be eventful about. Hey, new doorknob! Hey, think about there are more Latin American goat bands than you would think. Hey. Morning Dawn is poking. Morning Dawn is poking. PG cries. PG cries. No, no, no. Once a week. You already did it yesterday. Get out of here. 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 What are you, deaf? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. You know, maybe your hand would look a little more inviting if it had googly eyes or something on it. You know? God. This is a, come out here with this weird call. Oh, strangle the pumpkin. Oh. You know? Jeez. God. What's up? All right, see, look, now we got beer emotes in there. Those aren't even mine. <laughs> That's cute, though. That looks like that, that, that was a good use of dual, dual uh, emotes there. Mm. Yeah, that's. Dawn, no poking the pumpkin. Bring candy to PG. 
No, don't bring me any candy. Seriously, I'm, I am good. I am good with the candy. I've had so much. I'm like, bleh. Even I got sick of even Animal Crossing candy. Give me a lollipop. Give me a lollipop. Yeah. Dude, you know how many lollipops I had to find? Oh, man. There are more Latin American goat buns you than you would said think. said that. I thought googly eyes were only for pit rocks given out on Halloween. Googly eyes are for everything. You can put them on just about anything you see. Mona Lisa, googly, googly eyes. You know, Statue of David, put some googly eyes on it. It's beautiful. You know, it improves everything. I know not according to, you know, the museums, but, you know, I mean, for personal, for the everyday person to appreciate the arts, googly eyes. Thanks for the follow. Go. White chocolate. Yeah. You ever had white chocolate? Basically, it's, um, it's chocolate with vit vitiligo, basically. That's what white chocolate is. It is. That's a medical thing. Uh, let's see. Mm, we've been, what's, what, what, we're now going to, Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney Dangerfield had googly eyes. I mean, kind of did. Good point. Got a good amount of googly eyes. Yes, everything googly eyes. White chocolate is delicious. It, it is when it's good white chocolate. I've had really terrible white chocolate, and it tastes like chalky chalk. Like street chalk. What are you doing? Why are you on the phone? You literally show up, and then you're on the phone. It's cocoa butter without cocoa powder. Oh, that's weird. I'm wishing everyone that I know a happy Boo. hangover. Steve Buscemi is the king of googly eyes. Steve Buscemi. Oh, dude, I saw him recently in uh, Tales from the Dark Side, the movie where he raises the mummy with that little thing. That was great. Christian Slater was in that, too. For the physical media fund. Hey. Some facts about Guy Fox: the gunpowder plot was his plan to overthrow the Protestant king and replace him with a Catholic monarch so the people who wear his mask are celebrating a real life as zealot. Yeah, well, you know, uh, there's no end to rebellious hypocrisy in, in, the, in the world. So no, I guess that would be one of them. Ah, what chocolate is albino chocolate? Yeah. I can never find a pink eyes though. Dun, dun, dun. Is that true? I, I don't know a lot of albinos. Maybe like 12, 13. And I'm not too sure if they all have like different eyes. What's up? Apparently in an official Final Fantasy VII remake book that's only available in a chance. Great, next you? Oh. Don't get off the phone. They take a lot of weight. I'm sure even PG could crack the glass. Dime con quien andas y te diré quien eres. I woke up with a hangover. Pumpkin beer, sixth glass beer, Guinness and a hard coffee. It's happy hangover day for me to eat on. Aw, thanks for drinking for me because I couldn't. Everyone get out of here. Just every, everyone go. We're, <laughs> you, get off the couch. You with the heart, just disappear. And where's why that guy floating around? Why are you using a repeat background there? What's, what, what's all that? That, 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 was, that was yesterday. That no, was yesterday. look. Apparently you weren't watching yesterday. You're too busy on your phone as well. Look at those candles. Okay, that's not candy. Look there is dress. nothing wrong with being loco. When you orange. see what normal is. You see that up there? I am leaving. This has been fun. Thank you. You see that up there? You see those banners? Uh -huh. Completely different. They don't have bats. It's a day to dead theme. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're astute. Astute obser observer of detail. It's mm. the same room, though. That's because we live here. That's why it's the same room. Because this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> what the? What? It's just, you're in the same room, so though. Outside, not like, today. Super There's party. a pandemic. I am not going outside. Why are things on fire? It, it It's an asbestos line couch. It's okay. Though I don't recommend anyone at home putting candles this close to your couch unless it's completely lined in metal and asbestos. And you don't want to do that. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> it's the same room. Get out of here. Are you, are you done yelling at me now? Uh, are, do you have any more dumb observations? <laughs> yeah. What's with this background? Oh. Hey, chat, what's with this background? It's the same one from yesterday. Uh, this is the same room. <laughs> no me gusta estupidos. See? Exactly. Don't Even a robot. PG chemistry are the best. Yeah. I'm very volatile chemicals. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Get out of here. Mm. Don't, don't question the decorations. Yeah. Oh, man. What? I was just like, slap him. <laughs> Come on, what do you mean slap the pumpkin? Wow, dude, what, advocate for abuse much? Jeez. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yeah, that's like, you know, kid spills milk. Oh, we'll just hit him with a, with a shoe, you know? It's like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Uh, 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually worried about chat now. I'm going to stand over here, you know, out of, out of arm's reach. <laughs> That's it. Just slapped a pumpkin. What? Well, like it's my fault. Like it's my fault. You know? God. Yeah. Let's see. Add a bit. Let's head off. Yeah. Mm. Carved the pumpkin. What do you mean carved the pumpkin? I'm already carved. Look at my face. Don't you know how jack o' lanterns work? Jeez. Dinero por café. Yay. Thank you. Money coffee. Slapped the pumpkin seeds at his head. JK be kind to the pumpkin. He's a little guy. Come on, man. What is that? What is wrong with everybody? Mm. Uh, I lost the, what? Uh, I lost the game. Would you like to play the game with me? The rules are very simple. And by the way, Don, you are now a taco. Don, you're a taco. taco? Yep. But not a good kind. I'm going to say, uh. Um, I cannibalize myself? No. Oh, but I'm a taco. Who does that? Tacos can't eat themselves. But if I'm a sentient taco, I can. Yeah, but then you got the shelf life of like five days. So I just eat myself quickly. But then you got to put yourself in a freezer. Go. Dime con quién andas y te diré quién eres. Stop the pumpkin abuse. Yeah. Smack Gordon instead. Yeah, where's Gordon anyway? I haven't seen him in like a year. Mm. Is it? Thank you. This isn't Willy Wonka. What? We cannot reach into our screens. I don't know that. Dun, dun, dun. Pumpkin guy loves eating tacos. What? Tacos are pretty good. Eh, I'll be starring when I find a Bond movie during the living day. What are you? Oh, God. Yes, we know Sean Connery's dead. Uh, I found a Benadryl. Uh, uh, what? There are more Latin American goat buns oh. than you would think. Be careful, pills. He is in the freezer. Maybe turn off your alerts. <laughs> She's just texting on the phone. She's not even looking at you guys. See, this is why she doesn't stream. She'd be on the phone the whole time. She'd be like, oh, what chat? Oh, sorry. I was on the phone. You know, this is technically like chat. I'm just letting you know. I'm helping someone in need. Someone is in need. Dude, everyone you know is in need. I, she, she's like the, the Fraser Crane in the, in this house. You always got to help somebody. What is, what is wrong with you? You're listening? Not to me. You're not listening to me. Huh? What? All right, just go go do your whatever uh, psych, psyche valves, whatever you got to oh, do. Look if I crash the system, do it's I have it. to clean it up? Yes. Don, we're in need too. Yeah. Aww. See? Okay, tell me your problems. Here What's we go. Happening? What's going on? What's your problems, How chat? Can I help? And hope, don't eat the weird candies. Not some people are mean. What's that? I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> go. Don is in need of help and those in need. What? This is your personal Dr. Phil. You're the worst doctor. For the chicken Phil. nugget fun. Go. I got so many problems, I don't know where to begin. All right, well, I guess. Hey, get off the couch. Somebody needs it. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, shoesy peasy. Hi. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do my magic wand. I'm not going after you. I have a magic wand here. Here's my, my magic wand, and that I. I, I make everyone feel better. What? This is like that weird anime that you find that you didn't know existed. Like, so my wand is a te tentacle kind of thing. That's going to be an anime. Paw wand makes everyone feel better. Boop. This is a catastrophe. Boop. Get, well, don't boop me. What the? Boop. God, I'm, I'm, all, I'm kind of allergic to cats. Now I got, got cat hair in my nose. God. <laughs> <laughs> I need a tissue. Don't, not your sleeve. Yes. Yeah. I don't have issues. I have subscriptions and catalogs. There's still subscriptions and catalogs? Oh my God. Remember when you get a magazine in the mail and it was fun? Is it starting to rain? Ah, anyway. I don't like being booped. How come somebody clipped that and then we could share the boop clip? Ah! Ah. If I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Hey, luck is still luck. You know what you do? You realize that it's going to be bad luck and hold if on. If you lose the game, you must immediately scream F. I lost the game. You didn't have 10 minutes to bring other people into the game and explain the rules and then forget about the game. You are now a member of the game. You have 10 minutes to forget. I don't like playing games. Thanks, Dawn. It's been a bad two months, but I feel better already. Hey, there you go. Smile. Hey. 
Social distance? Uh, I'm not even in your wor world. Okay, no lie. The boobs with the cat paw has made my day. Now I must leave and finish getting my apartment date ready. Hey. I'll finish the VOD later. Nice. Thank you. Thanks for the follow. Slopez, thank you. Icarus, thank you. And are we all caught up? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say something I forgot. <sighs> no, she's still on the phone chat. You got to wait. Wait, what happened? Huh? You're on what? the phone. Hi. I hear toasted hands are fairly tasty. I don't know. Depends on, I, I know, sometimes that's a cultural thing. It's not my not my kind of thing. What, what are you doing? What's All that? Right. Hearts. They're, hearts. They're, they're hearts. That's our, our emote. You see that emote next to Super Meat Boy? That's, yeah. that's ours. That's ours. Why don't you go hang out with a dead dude up there? He's just oh, 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 a little ghost. That? Yeah. They're dead, a dead ghost guy. Ghost guy. That's it. <laughs> Watch your video always makes my day a little bit better. Thanks for videos, pumpkin guy. Hey, King. Appreciate it. I'm glad I'm helping. Yeah. Give me peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter cookies. No, no. Peanut butter is something you put on cookies. If you have like chocolate, like regular chocolate cookies, and you're like, oh, these are just chocolate. You put peanut butter on top of that. Yeah, it's not the healthiest thing you could do, but it's pretty good. We got these weird little brownie fig bars that are actually really good. They're like nature's bakery brownies. They're pretty decent. They're not like super over the top sweet, so we kind of like them. And then we just put peanut butter on top of them. It's like a peanut butter brownie. It's delicious. I love it. There used to be this really cool place that that made uh, peanut butter brownies. They were awesome. Boop wand confusion. There we go. Yeah, work on that anime. Theodoro. Go. Hello, pumpkin guy and Dawn. Hope all is well with you guys. So far, so good. Dawn. She's literally like this on the phone. Good, yeah, yeah. So weird. This is why you don't stream. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm trying to help people. I I just looked over there and I saw uh, an ugly Your doll on top of a hurts computer. My heart. Ochi. What's up? Too bad. Now everyone who was watching the stream is now a member of the game. You are all now members of the game. You have ten minutes to forget about the game. If you remember the game, you lose the game. Well, you know what? If you keep reminding us that there's a game, how are people going to forget? And so we're all just losing the game. So you won the game and take your board and go home. <laughs> well, you see? Oh, no, there you go. Hey, bad luck. That's what I was saying. No, if, if somebody said, hey, they were like, if I, if all I have is bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Here's what you do. Recognize Sunny you have pieces. bad luck. Everything. Hold on. Officially, the game ended a long time ago. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Recognize you have bad luck. When you go to do something, don't do that because you know it's going to turn out horribly because of your bad luck. And therefore, you have good luck. Use it to your advantage. You know? Why not? If you know you have bad luck, then just don't get involved in anything that requires luck. And then you win. That's how you make bad luck good luck. Bad luck good luck? Yeah, you're not even paying attention. You're just, you're, you're not even paying attention. Not even paying attention. What am I doing? Go. Wrong? I don't know. Go. I'm trying go. to be helpful to people. Well, then go be helpful. You're just standing here now. You're just generating heat in this room. What? That's what I'm saying. You're, you're, you're like the candles here. You're just sitting there just creating well, heat. Good, and... then you don't have to turn on the heater. Go help your friends. <laughs> go. Well, I'm here for morons. Remember when my internet was fun? A wise man is someone who has made many mistakes. There you go. Mucho gracias. Hey. Luck is made. Luck is made. Where? How do you make luck? Like, can I get a 3D printer for that or what? We got to get a 3D printer, chat. This way we can make little 3D printed toys. Just saying. No, I want to find a decent one, but one that isn't crazy Soporte expensive. De calabaza. Mucho gracias. Hey. What did you say? Not what. What? How? What, who, how, when, why, where? All the questions journalists are supposed to ask, but they never do. Who, what, when, where, why, and how? And allegedly. No, we took a journalist class, and that, that was like the whole thing. There are these main questions you have to an ask when you're researching a story, and nobody asked those. I've read articles, and they're all terrible. Uh, what? 
Devouring chair. What? store. What? Mm. Toys. What are you doing? Literally, if you're texting, there's one little point. You're just standing, hurting your back. I'm here for you. I'm, I'm good. Punk rock used to be cool. Ethics, what's that? Ethics. Remember ethics in journalism? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I don't even think that ever existed. I think it was just something created by the news media to give the impression that they were actually ethical. Mm -mm. No, because even if you go back pre-television, there's always stories about journalists who would write stuff about particular politic politicans. What's a politicking? <laughs> it's those things, they're bloodsuckers. Yeah, politicans. Well, that's more of the IRS department. So <laughs> Pol politics. Yeah, they just suck the life out of you. Politicans. Uh, whatever you know journalism ah let's see what ethics there you go uncle walter had ethics uncle walter uncle walter was a very ethical individual until around uh 1940s when he just apparently sided with uh the wrong people um let's see uh so long ago when the press actually gave a crap sometimes about no. get you buy it from them leprechauns Oh yeah, maybe I should watch Leprechaun now. I mean, I know it's it's a little early for for uh, St. Patrick's Day and a little, but it's still kind of horror. I don't know what kind of horror movies can I watch in the in the fall that aren't Halloween based. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I was wondering where Shrieky is today. Shrieky's right there behind the heart, uh, head, the sugar skull. You blend in very well. Like like when he goes to disappear, it just looks like it's got a bow on there. That's very clever. You can go away now. Um, that's pretty good though. Look, like you wouldn't even notice he's, that's camo. That's shrieky heart camo. That's pretty good. Look at you. Nobody would even know you there until you pop out unexpectedly. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Creepy heart. Hiding behind a sugar skull. Creepy heart. I, I don't know when he's going to pop out again, so whatever. Um, let's see. Uh, for three hundred dollars, you can clearly be into three pro three D printer. Really, only three hundred bucks. Hey, three hundred bucks for a three D printer—that'd be pretty good. Hmm, that'd be nice because I'd like to make little things for people. I don't know—we're so weird. But then we got to do modeling and stuff like that. And oh god. Hi, Evie. Evie, what? Uh, Shrieky's in camo. Yep, hiding out. Nobody sees him. Rip Sean Connery passed away on Halloween. Yeah, I know. Sean Connery passed away. Yeah, we talked about it yesterday during Halloween. Eh, the Highland is no more. Uh, uh, little pumpkin finger puppets. Yeah, we could do that. But then we got to paint them and everything. You know? I want to get something that looks like a statue but looks cool. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sean Connery wasn't the Highlander. He was one of those Highlander people. You know? What do they call him? What were, what were, okay, these immortal people that needed their heads lopped off. What were they called? What were they called? What were they called? Collectively. They were just called immortals. Well, that's so lame. Oh, yeah, the immortals. They were Highlanders, were immortals. They were just called immortals. That's it? Highlander is Christopher Lambert. All right, he was a Highlander. Fine, I'll, I'll stand corrected here. So he was an immortal. Yeah, what false advertising was that was, Sean Connery? I want my money back. See, this is why you can't trust uh, fictional stuff, man. Huh? He was also James Bond once. He was more than once. Uh, the world, the world, another planet, and Highlander too. Yeah, that was that was weird. That's where everything got kind of weird. Like Highlander two is like a, another planet. Like, what was even happening there? Like, that made no sense to me. What's your top 10 punk rockers of all time? Oh, God. Uh, Ramones, Sex Pistols. You'd have to go with the main ones. I kind of like the adverts, even though they only had a very short lifespan. Um, hmm. God, I mean, it goes on. You can, I mean, the Misfits, all that stuff. Basically, everything that's been groundbreaking and influenced multiple generations is basically what you're going to have to pick. By default. Now, what am I going to do? Say Blink-182? No, they don't count. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. 
A Highlander is a person from the Scottish Highlands. I'm j but still. What? I deny the existence of Highlander 2. It was a goofy film. I I imagine it as fanfic written by somebody who had a lot of money and just didn't care. You know? That's what Highlander 2 was. Uh, you know, it would be really cool if we bring back Sean Connery for the movie. And then we'll have another planet. And it'll be from space. And it'll be the future and environmental. And then it'll be this big dome around the planet. And then stuff will happen. But things are okay. And then stuff and weird. And Sean Connery could go Zhoo, 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 with, a, with a big fan. I mean, that's quite literally what that was. That was just terrible fan fiction by somebody who had too much money to just throw away. Sean Connery was also the first James Bond. The first James Bond. Well, no, except for the guy who was actually James Bond that Ian Fleming based the character on. Oh! <laughs> mm. I had to get Highlighter 2 on VHS because they didn't unedited theater release on any... Oh, did they do that for Blu-ray, though? Is there an unedited version on the Blu-ray? Because we got the Blu-ray. I think we found it in the thrift store or something. Highlander. But, I don't know. The TV show. Christopher Lambert wrote two. What? For the pizza fund. Here we are, born to be kings. We're the princes of the UU universe. Yeah, all right, Christopher Lambert. Start ri stop writing fan fiction about yourself. Oh, God. Wow. Really? What'd they just say? Hey, it was a moderately successful B-movie. Uh, there you go, Christopher Lambert. You write a story. Make it uh, good. Who did three then? I haven't seen uh, Highlander 3 in forever. Was that good? Was that the one Mario Van Peoples? Ugh. Highlander 2, Electric Boogaloo. Don't lick the pumpkin. Dun, 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 dun. And he was Alan Quartermain. Alan Quartermain? No, that was... um. Richard Chamberlain, Alan Quartermain. Unless there was another one with Al Really? Hey, I like the theme for uh, Alan Quartermain. Those old movies. I think, uh, no, James Earl Jones was in one of those, right? Or both of them. He was good. Christopher Lambert should start writing what a rather Mortal Kombat fanfic between Raiden and Chamberlain. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out well. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I love that one. That was good. Sorry if you had absolutely adorable, uh, beautiful, cute skull accessories. Cute skull accessories. Yeah. Well, they're not really accessories so much as probably little people f that we've found in alternate dimensions. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sean Connery in Space. Outland, 1981. I never saw Outland. Huh. How long did it take to bra braid her hair like that? It takes forever. It's so annoying. Uh, Christopher Lambert, no, I got that. Uh, Highlander 3, the new batch. The new batch. What? If that ghost gets out of hand, either Cole Ghost Pizzer or Danny Van. No, he's just hanging out, getting sugar skulls. Uh, Leave a short gentleman was so stupid. It was it was weird, but it was kind of fun. What? League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I, it was like a B-movie kind of thing. I thought it was good. You know? Come on, dude. I like the guy who played Jekyll. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde. I was he did pretty well in that. That was a very very well fleshed out character. No. Yeah. Mm, I need to think of a good movie to watch tonight. Um, I know. Well, hey, if you're in a Day of the Dead, then you know Book of Life and Coco. There you go. Done. Indiana Jones: Last Crusade. Oh, there you go. That was Last Crusade. Yeah. That was good. Indiana Jones was good. Got her on PG. Have a great day, all. Ogzen, thanks for being here. Try to enjoy your day. Do it. The Untouchables. Arr. Yeah, they're not doing another Indiana Jones, right? It's like it kind of fell through. Like, it just stopped. I think it's like DOA at this point. Mm, I'm going to be watching Entrapment on New Year's Eve. Yeah, they already started pushing out uh, whatever. Christmas packagings of uh, diehard Blu-rays and 4Ks. I kid you not, there's like an ugly Christmas sweater packaging for Die Hard movies. It's so weird. I'm okay with no more Indiana Jones movies. I know, it'd be good to have one last one. Wasn't Sean Connery on Time Bandits? Was he? I don't remember. Uh, the Rock was alright. It was kind of cool to see Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage on screen together. Nicolas Cage. That was another movie I never saw. I never saw The Rock. What was I going to do with that? 
But Hyde equals the Hulk. Yeah, I mean, he was kind of the Hulk. He was basically, hey, that was like the first Avengers movie. All right? No, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It was basically they got all these people together with superhero powers, right? And, you know, just sent them out on a mission. I mean, yeah, it didn't turn into, like, you know, the Avengers, but, you know, they tried. You know, that's pretty good. I like it. I'm going to rewatch that. You know, uh, yeah, everybody. It was good. I don't want to hear it. Oh, Sykora's here. Sykora! Happy day today. What's up? How are you doing? Doing all right. I hope your evening was good. Your Halloween was filled with spooky stuff. Ours was an exhausting endeavor, and I'm glad we had the extra hour today. Yes, an extra hour of Day to Dead slash Halloween. Even though they're not the same. Still, that's cool. Thank you. It was great. Yay! It was great. There's no debate. Are you doing anything today, or are you taking a day off? What's going on? Are you streaming? Are you streaming tomorrow? What's happening? Now I'm going to wait for a response. So, uh, he wasn't a time bandit. He, was, he, he wasn't the time bandit. He was in Zardoz. Zardoz. Seven years stream anniversary party going on soon on the 7th. Seven years. For the manga fund. Umbrella Academy is pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I don't know. Here's the thing. I, I'm tired. I can't deal with series as is, is now. It's, I, I have a couple that I want to watch, and there's just so many of them. Series is, is, is. Uh, Seven-year stream anniversary party going to see uh, on the 7th. All right. No stream today. Uh, but that's, hey. Remember the to clean your browse at history. Clean it. We do not speak about Zardos. Zardos. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Um, No, there you go. So the 7th. Mark, mark it on your calendars. What day does that fall on? What day is the 7th? What day is the 7th? What day is the seventh? Is it next Monday? Is it Tuesday? What is it? Friday? Is it Saturday? What is it? What is it? What is it? When's the seventh? When's the seventh? Somebody tell me. When's the seventh? When's the seventh? Somebody let me know. When is it? When is it? When is it? Saturday. It's Saturday. 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 November seventh. Seven years of Psychora. On Twitch. Huge event. Be there. Or you won't be. Saturday. I know, I'm just letting people know. Yo, they've been doing all sorts of stuff. Come on. Yeah, you write it down too, because you, you've been very amiss when it comes to things. You know, you're like, oh, look, it's Tuesday. And before you know it, it's like, you know, 2025. You know? And still, we won't have a copy of Cyberpunk. When is that game ever going to release? All right, whatever. The moral of the story is Sykora is doing a seventh year anniversary stream on the seventh, which is Saturday. So there you go. I'm just saying, you know, I'm going to support, you know, fellow streamers. Just saying. Uh, let's see. Mm, yes, it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say, everybody bring your candy and your beverage of choice and just have fun. What? Psychor hangout. Mm. Nachos sound amazing. Does anybody ever say nachos don't sound amazing? Nachos. Ooh. I have never heard that in my entire life. Ew, Nachos. Nobody's ever said it. Nah. Yes, poor George. What's wrong with George? George! George! No, just, hey, fill up the fridge with Pepsi. It'll be fine. It'll be fun. Eh, let's see. Scarecrow George. 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 Uh, this is one of the best streams I've ever seen. Ever? Well, you got to watch more streams. This is kind of, you know, we're kind of low tier here. I'm just saying. Uh, Scarecrow George, he got picked on by the neighborhood kids. No! Oh, well, it's Halloween. It's be right. Trying to get him to chase them. Oh, man. I ain't chasing nobody. I'll be like, boo, get out of here or I'm going to chase you away. You're like, you're not going to chase us. Yeah, you're right. Whatever. Just hang out on the lawn. Just watch out for that. There's a lot of gophers on the lawn. It might You might fall into a hole. Um, and we did bury a Necronomicon down there. So, you know, if a hand comes up and tries to eat you, to, you know, that's not my fault. You've been warned. All right. Just letting you know. And then just fall asleep on the chair. You don't like nachos. Well, now you're just being difficult. And I find that to be offensive. <laughs> Halloween is over. Now what? Who says Halloween is over? As long as candy exists, it may not have the right kind of colored packaging, but it's still Halloween. Halloween is great. 
You know, it's just all about spooky stuff, appreciating a good scare. It lets you know that you're alive, and then you get candy afterwards. Halloween, it's the time of the year for a little scream. There goes one now. Hmm. So, every day is Halloween. According to Al Jorgensen from uh, Ministry, but he was, uh, he partook in a lot of medicinal. So maybe in his mind, Halloween is every day. Can you imagine just him waking up every day? Every day is Halloween. Al, Al, settle down. Every day is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Al! What? It's June. Relax. Halloween. Mm, dances to the song. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, uh, let's see. What's up, Pumpkin Guy? What's up? DJ Raven? What's up? Then it come a freak. One of the days, come don't like tacos. What? Hey, tacos are hit or miss. Sometimes you get a bad taco and you're like, this taco ain't great. Huh? Uh, making some nachos. You want to do it after you watch your. No, don't, don't make food to make me feel like I should be eating stuff. Halloween continues till Monday morning when I go to work. Boo. Sycora's making nachos. <laughs> you should have a nacho stream. And that's what you call it, nacho stream. That would be good. Sycora, cooking stream, just nachos. Put a bunch of good stuff on there. And you kind of eat healthy, right? So then you can uh, make a good cooking, healthy nacho thing. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like nachos. Exactly. I don't get the whole eating healthy thing. I tried it. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> nacho nacho stream. Seven year anniversary stream hype. There you go. Nice. Uh, about to make sushi for six hours. You're making sushi for six hours. Why? Do you mess up a lot? Or... I don't know. Apologize for stupid question. Is there a stupid question? No such thing. Uh, but are the comics and sketchbooks available in your shop? Digital already on physical copies available. Personally, I prefer physical books. Thank you so much. Pop-Tart Kitties, there are some physical copies on Amazon. Amazons. They're like a... Yeah, they're there. They're good. They're pretty good quality, too. Hmm. Nacho Extreme! It's done, yes. What? Nacho Stream. No, it's Nacho Stream! Huh? Should do sound clips for that for alerts. Seven years, Nacho Stream. It's my stream. Mm. V, v, uh, what, the Carpathian guy? What, from Ghostbusters 2? I didn't like Ghostbusters 2. There, I said it. I thought it was a watered-down, hammy version of what it, it should have been. Mm. Moon Knight, what? Moon Knight. All right. What am I going to do with Moon Knight? Dude, as comics go, I bought like three issues of Moon Knight. I don't even think people even know that exists anymore. Somebody said you're the best. I don't know. They might be delusional. Uh, let's see. Eh, but you are a card pumpkin. They're for a hollowed out. That means you need to eat. No, I don't. Look at my butt. Don't need to eat. Mm-mm-mm. Maybe said sensor to find sugar-free caramel syrup this morning, but if at least... If you are looking to spread your fan fiction, check out our slash fan fiction stories over on Reddit. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's just going to open up a can of worms, ain't it? A can of worms that are really just tentacles. Ugh, fan fiction. Killing me. Ghostbuster 2 wasn't horrible, but it wasn't good either. Yeah, it was It was mi very middle of the road, and I kind of expected more. Yeah. I think even when I was a kid when I saw that, I was like, ah, eh, this is kind of eh, Ghostbusters. It's all right. Yeah, it's totally sad. Oh, yeah, of course there's... I'm sure there is. Yeah, nothing wrong with tentacles. You'll see. Everyone says that. Oh, it's so cute and adorable. And then before you know it... Mm. I love the first Ghostbusters, but didn't like the second one very much. No, no hey, the, the first one was excellent. The second one was kind of meh. Um, and I keep saying this over and over. Yo, play the video game. It's actually, I think, still free on Epic. The uh, Ghostbusters game with the original cast is free on Epic, I think, still. Um, so if you have Epic's games, whatever thing, just, dude, get it. It's like a free Ghostbusters Remember movie to that you get to play for. Remember to clean the air browser history. What's up? 
Ghostbusters 1 and 2 are way better than Ghostbusters 2016. Dude, I would just watch the opening intro to the ghost, the real Ghostbusters cartoon series over and over again for two hours then watch the 2016 version. Just saying. Um, it's still free on Epic till Tuesday. All right, Thursday. All right, it's still free on Epic till Thursday. So if you're in a mood for Ghostbusters, uh, dude, just get the game from them. It's literally free. So there you go. L literally. I don't know why not. I play. I played through the game. It's one of the very few that I actually finished, and it was it was a fun game. The story was decent. Yeah. It was better than two. Bad Tumblr Ghostbusters Ugh. supports the Ghostbusters prequel. Yeah, hopefully it'll be pretty good. Prequel, prequel. No, I think that's a continuation of. Uh, like some some fan fiction, but it got some pretty literature, basically fan fiction. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me get a drink. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't Ghostbusters want a prequel to everything? Prequel to everything? Well, all right. Yeah, if you want to be technical about it. No, but prequels are usually like considered a movie made before the franchise like got big. Like, you know, oh, Ghostbusters, and then Ghostbusters 2, 3, 4, and then it's like, let's make a prequel. You know, what everyone was doing before that, you know? So it's usually prequels become later, but are, you know, tacked on to the beginning of the series, which doesn't make any sense. Sequels over prequels, yeah. God, I saw the, the updated trailer for the Monster Hunter one. Uh, yeah, Monster Hunter, what did they do to that? Yeah, the monsters look cool, but I'm just, I even on the surface, I'm looking at the story elements there in the trailer, and I'm like, this isn't going to work. This is not going to be good. Not going to be good. So I'm gonna, that, that's going to be a streaming thing for me. Oh, but you know what they're doing? They're actually remaking, uh, anybody remember that old movie, People Under the Stairs? Yo, Jordan Peele's going to do a remake of that. That actually might be really good. I love that movie. That movie was great. Those creepy people, man. Woof. Ah. What? It'll be fun. We never asked for it. We never asked for it. <laughs> what? The people under the stairs or Monster Hunter? I don't. I that was like an odd choice for them to make a movie from, like the Monster Hunter. Like, why not just make like um, uh, you know, the Loop in the Third, the first movie that was like a 3D kind of thing. Why don't they just make a a good 3D More CGI? More to clean up after. Animation. B -b -b Gross. People under the stairs, you mean Harry Potter? No, not Harry Potter. Harry Potter's a... Ugh. Ugh, Harry Potter. Ugh. Ugh! Um, no, well, that just translates into rowling. Ugh! Yeah. How, how long before Warner Brothers completely removes rowling from the uh, concept of Potter? That's only a matter of time. Um... No, but the Monster Hunter thing, why didn't they just, like, you know how Resident Evil has a lot of animated movies that are CGI? I mean, they're all right. Um, but if you can get, like, a AAA studio CGI kind of animated thing for Monster Hunter, why not? Thanks for the follow. Thank you, Thanos. Um, like, why not? Why do you got to get these actors that, you know, everyone's just like, please, and just make it a good story, God. There really is something very strange when, when I know... God, all right. Hear my words. If you're in the moody, shake on. your booty. Once you've read about Harry Dresden, Potter becomes so may. Yeah, but Dresden can barely get his car started, you know. Um. <clears throat> Thank you. No, the uh, they really should make a Dres like a series of Dresden movies. Don loves that thing and thinks they're great. Um. No, but the whole the whole thing, like, uh, yo. Western culture, all right, like America, all that other stuff. Okay, people like Japanese culture for a particular reason, because it's different, and I've said this before. If you're going to make a movie based on a Japanese property, it's okay to leave those Japanese elements in there, because that's what people like. It's different. Now, what is wrong with people? You know, it's like every time they do an adaptation of something, it's like they try to like, well, they're not going to get this. You know, the people who are into it and that are going to support it, if they don't get it, they're going to look it up. You know, they they literally, they got the brains to use wiki fill in the blank. 
to learn about lore and stuff like that. You know, the Grudge movies did fine. Why? Because they stuck with all that stuff, you know? God. Except the last one where it was just like, you know, some that, that was terrible. But that was America, so... I know, just leave it. Leave it the way it is. That's why the Netflix Death Note sucked. See, there you go. I don't know. Yo, just... Oh God, I don't know. There's just something so weird about it. it. It's weird because I think movie execs don't get the whole kind of anime thing. They're just like, yeah, let's do that in that style and put American Ooh. sensibilities Pop. in it. Veep. What's up? But as they do, it's virtual ape Croatian, and if they don't, it's whitewashing. <laughs> I know, you're basically damned if you do, if you're damned if you don't, but if you're talking about the concept of animation, animation is just anime that, uh, what, anime is just animation that comes from Japan, and Japan wouldn't be doing animating if it wasn't for America way back post-World War II. So, whatever with that. Basically, they used animation, learned from us, created their own industry, and now we're basically siphoning that, you know, so. Mm. It's just really weird. Like, I don't I don't understand why... why Certain places have an issue with that. You know, it even goes uh, applies to China. There are certain sensibilities here that, like, if we're trying to appeal to a Chinese market, they're like, take this out, take this out, take this out. You know, hey, Chinese market may actually appreciate some Western ideas because, of course, government will. They won't. need to bring in for anime live action movies fans of those series to beat consults or not do it at all. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's really weird, you know, and, you know, the anime anime fans are really, really passionate about it. So it's like, why not get those people that actually care about the property and, um, you know, instead of just buying a license to make a movie so you can try to make millions. You know, it's just so weird. But, you know, they, you know, whatever. I, I know it's like I'm, I'm talking into the void here. Nobody's really going to listen. Yeah. I love people under the stairs. I go back and watch it. Definitely, it's it's got it's got some gravity to it. So thanks for the follow, Catman. Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, do I watch on McDonald's commercials? I see the same commercials. The white people and black men will be the same fun. commercial Spanish. Go. Well, I have to head off to work. Have a great day, everyone. Dooley licks. You too. Have a great day. Try to enjoy work. Do something fun there. Spread the holiday cheer. Not Christmas. We're talking about Halloween. Huh? Thank you. Uh, Disney doesn't want to admit they screwed up. Live action Mulan. Um, I didn't even see it, and I probably never will. So, I can't make an assessment. I can only look at the two trailers for both versions of the movie and realize that the animated version had better acting than the live action one. New Josie digging the design. Hey, New Josie. I kind of like it. It's weird. She's not so, uh... Pacific Rim was just a really bad knockoff of Evangelion Neon Genesis. Uh, yeah, here's the thing. I watched Pacific Rim, and um, I didn't care for it. You know, it wasn't like the acting was bad or the visual effects were terrible. I'm just like, what's happening here? Like, I didn't enjoy it. Like, there wasn't anything that I was like... Dinero por café. Thank you. Hey. Japan needs to stop making World War II anime. Uh, you know, here's the thing. Any Any... Animes Swank. that deal with like I heard China banned skeletons. I'd why. Th that's pretty good. That actually sound confused. Like I, why? It's, what? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, China. If you're gonna ban skeletons, maybe not use your criminals for bodies for uh, art exhibits. For those who don't remember, there was a bodies exhibit basically that came from China where they basically just essentially dissected uh you know inmates who were quote unquote donated to science so people can see you know spliced up versions of the human There's body nothing wrong with being loco when huh? you see what normal is yeah no nah, but Vikram was more of a American version of Gundam versus Godzilla's yeah that's what I'm saying it was kind of just weird I didn't care for it I was like eh you know, if you have a hey, if you have a license for a Japanese property you know an anime movie manga whatever just Keep it, you know, just, dude, just keep it the way it is. Make make a thing for fans, and you'd be surprised how much they would su support it, okay? Don't phone it in. Don't slap on an anime style to something that's basically, you know, a Western property and just be like, yay. You know, just come on. It's not going to work that way. Uh, uh, Power Rangers. Power Rangers. 
I actually like Pacific Rim, uh, Chuck of the Del Toro's, uh, Oda, Mega. Yeah, but I didn't, you know, it kind of didn't click with me. I know, some people do like it. Girls and Panzers is a really good anime. They get most of the tanks right. It's just physics that's wrong. Oh, physics is always wrong. It's anime. It's a cartoon. You know, what do you expect? Um, like, I... Are you really going to point out the physics in anime? I mean, you got people running up the lo- alongside giant dragons and slicing their heads off in one fell swoop. You're worried about physics. Well, I mean, come on, dealing with tanks, you got to be a little bit... Um, and it's weird. I don't I don't watch a lot of war anime. Anything that deals with kind of gritty war and stuff like that, eh. You know, I'm not I'm not really about that. I just like there's too much problems in the real world to actually want to view that in you know, kind of fictional content you know that's weird to me that's like i don't like i don't usually watch a lot of war movies too unless it's like abbott and costello are in it yeah western property we need more cowboy and uh, need, need, really <laughs> uh yeah well i don't think western properties has a lot of properties left uh, bah, 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 bah. Mm, well, there's always some things off the big chance of the feed and that the trick is doing so without it being blatantly sharing. Yeah. Mm, nothing to do with war. M80s. Oh, really? Swank for the bank. Go. Thank you. Organ harvesting is not new in China. If anyone remembers, China has Muslims in camps, but oh, you gotta God, get that go. Chinese blood money. Yeah, well. <laughs> There's always something going on in the world, Sunny isn't there? Go. Everything. I also heard the China uh, version of the Avengers Endgame has 20 minutes extra footage of Iron Man in a Chinese hospital. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, yeah, that's that's what I need. I said, hey, who wants to see Tony Stark in a hospital? Not me. Hey, you can have that footage, China. We don't need it. We get it. Um, Let's see. Uh, what? That's funny. Repost. What? Spock. Uh, I'd like it better with someone into practical effects like Sam Raimi for things like people under the stairs. Um, yeah, that would, I think I, they wouldn't have to do CGI for people under the stairs. You know, it wasn't anything crazy in that. That was like, oh, we can't do this now. You know, so excited to order your cute Halloween special and big book and erotically yours. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the recommendation to the Amazon books. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff on there. We see Pumpkin Guy and Pauline Sketchbook comic was in Kick It's not Kick-a-Lone. a greedy war yeah. anime. It's a high school anime about girls fighting each other with World War II tanks, two films, and about 30 episodes, 20 minutes long. Wow. That's that's a lot. It's kind of weird. It's a weird concept, but eh. <laughs> I'd say I'd look into it, but I probably won't. What was the weird one that we saw recently? No, no, not the uh, art artist and his assistant or whatever. We didn't even watch that yet. I still don't know who sent it. Uh, let's see. It was all practical effects for people under the stairs. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't need to be impractical. Uh, how about a movie that combines Home Alone and Gremlins? Gremlins Home Alone. I don't know. Why aren't they making a prequel? Was it like Secrets of the Mogwai or something like that? That's probably going to be like a bleh. Uh, well, gotta go. I'll watch the VOD later. Have a wonderful stream. Dark Forest, uh, blah, 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 blah. Dark Sorrowful Angel. Thanks for being here. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the day. Make it fun. Mm-mm-mm. Like this dude's doing. Go. Mm, stream title. There are several candy flavored liquors. What? Uh, did you drink several bottles of uh, stuff? No, I didn't drink. I didn't do anything. I eat candy. Never had a, you never had a candy hangover? Come on, man. Tanya the Evil, I'm still wa- waiting for new episodes. It was great. I've heard of that. Is that is that worth the watch? Like, in all seriousness. Kevin vs. Gizmo. Grimola, I can't say that. That's a tongue twister. No, Tanya the Evil, I've heard of it. And I saw it, and I'm like, hmm, do I want to watch this? Go. I would check out a Gremlins prequel. Um, Yeah, there's going to be an animated series, I think. It's going to be animated, right? Probably Netflix. Secrets of the Mogwai. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. It'll probably just be a bunch of cute people. Yo, Howie Mandel is not doing a voice for Gizmo, right? Or anything? Last I heard, unless that changed. Uh, Tanya the Evil is about a man at war with God. Well, you ain't going to win that. What? What is it, Supernatural? <laughs> Tanya is good, grim, and dark. Mm. I, need, I need a little lightheartedness to my anime. 
You know? I can't, I can't be all doom and gloom. It's weird because I get enough of that in Western media. You know, it's like, that's kind of what I like about Japan. There's this weird, cutesy, uplifting thing uh, to certain animes. And I'm like, all right, it's not terrible everywhere. You know? I like the wholesome stuff. Yeah, I'm the wholesome anime guy with the head pats and everything. You know, what do you want from me? Okay? I like cute sometimes. Mm. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, remember, almost all anime is made to promote the manga or visual novel it's based on. Search for it. You can find anime adaptation. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I've noticed that. When we got into certain series, we were just like, boo. I'm really surprised they haven't made a Comey Can't Communicate uh, anime yet. You know, like, how come that's not, it's like huge. Like, literally, it's always a bestseller. Every time a volume comes out, it's a bestseller on Amazon. How come they haven't done that? Say, Spock, thank you for the head pat. Like, uh, where is that? Where is it? I want to see that. Yes, Full Metal Panic, laid back, sub series. Uh, candy Hangover. Calorie Crash coming down from the sugar high. Yeah. Ugh. Lead, thank you. Uh, let's see. They might make one. They might make one. Uh. Tanya, Sailor Man, died of rejected, got certain revenge, reincarnated as a girl in a similar World War II world, but with magic, it gets enlisted. Super young. Oh, yeah. Isn't that always something? I guess, oh, that's the other thing. Japan, um, maybe bring the age of your characters up a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay? Just a couple of years. A little bit. Get that up there. Dinero por café. Thank you. Yay! Because the animation studios take a while to pick up four panel, four coma, comics, they need at least a good five to six books worth for a 12 episode season. Hmm. Well, Comey can't communicate. I think in Japan it's already got like, what, 14, 14 books? Easy? I think 14 books. You know, and they're still releasing, uh, hey, where, where's my follow up to, uh, Watamoti? You know? I want to know what happened to Kuroki. Does Kuroki get, like, all, like... God, is that the name? I always mispronounce it. I don't know. That was fun. It was so... Cr Again, it was so cringy, it was fun. Mm. She might be having anime girls that are, like, eight-year-old. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. It's it's a little weird, right? Like, I don't understand what goes on in Japan. Mm. Watamoti is the abbreviated name, yep. That's what I'm saying. It was good. It was good and cringy. And you always, you always root for that character because you're like, come on, man. Don't be so cringy and janked up. Life's got to get better for you. Toradora is also a really good anime. think it's like 15 to 20 episodes at most. And I wrote fan fiction for it on the previously mentioned subreddit. Oh, there you go. Subreddit. They should have a sub currently reading it, you know, because Reddit sounds like uh, everyone already read this. I want currently reading it. I want currently sub reading it. <laughs> Thank you. My roommate is a cat that's extremely heartfelt and super sweet. Japanese. I got that on my watch list. I want to see that. Keep yes. your groovy fingers to yourself. Groovy. The reason why they go with high school age is because there's a ton of nostalgia for young adults to look back to their salad days of high school where the most stress they had was school life, sports tournaments, and imaginary adventures. Yeah, I get that. Like simpler times kind of concept. You amaze me. Duh. Post Halloween moons. Love you, PG. Jim. Dawn. I mean, Andre Blackthorn, thank you. 48 minutes. That's insane. Thank you. I appreciate an eagle. Yeah, I, I, I get the whole, uh, you know, ooh, simpler times kind of thing, you know, when you don't have to worry about running a large corporation or something. But, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, it's weird. Mm. Plus, one on Tiny Evo Crazy is not the word to describe her. All right. Uh, Mercer's consistent with the school. Third door is epic. 11 of the 10 played a visual novel too. Oop, visual novels. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of like, uh, whatever, I guess, emotional, heartfelt um, visual novels out there that I'd probably get into. But uh, I feel like I got to go through the screenshots first to see where they lead because I never know whether they're going to be like, oh, this is just a cute story about, you know, people trying to, you know, whatever, do stuff. And then it's like, all of a sudden it's like, Gets real dark real fast, and not in a good way. Mm. I want to read the tiny novel, but I always forget about it. What? Well, now you're remembered. Write it down. Uh, simpler time back in high school. That didn't happen for me. It was a classic outcast. Yeah, I didn't have I didn't have a simple time in high school. It wasn't simpler, more joyous times. 
It got better after we left. Um, but other than that, it was it was a downtrodden beat down twenty four seven. It's like pfft. like why? I just I don't know. I don't want high school reminiscence. Because then I feel bad that everyone else in these animes had a better time than I did. <laughs> One of my favorite mangas is Mars, which is a high school story that deals with abuse, PTSD. And, uh, they, see, that's too heavy. That's too heavy for me. I got enough of that in my real life. Uh, let's see. Grave of the Fireflies. Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't want artsy heartfelt. I'm so, I know I'm being very particular. Being very particular. I like Coffee Samurai. That was fun. I think that's what it was called. It was like a short film. That's pretty good. What? It was like a little vending machine. It was, it was, <laughs> it was bizarre. Uh, there's plenty of anime based on visual novels, Glad Air, Little Busters, uh, Angel Beats. Yeah, but do they get weird? That's the problem. Uh, your lie in April. Your lie in April. Write it down. Uh, Great of Five Flies is a movie that injects pure melancholy into your veins. Yeah, no, I got enough of that. It, it, it already flows through me, like the dark side, right? Um, I hate high school, too. People can be mean. Can be mean. They are mean. They have a potential to be good, but they just choose not to. Mm. Uh, let's see. Mm. Schools always felt like prison to me. Yeah, dude, you're not the only one, man. We were just sitting there waiting for the clock. I'm like, can I get out of this hellhole? I don't know what it was about school. School, school should have been fun, but it was just weird. Uh, uh, it took me some days to stop processing the fireflies. I said, don't go there. Yeah, I, I don't want I don't want to sit about, sit and think about an anime for four days and realize sadness is all that there is. You know, that kind of thing. You know, come on, I need, I need something a little bit uplifting here. Hey! Let me get something to drink. That'll be uplifting. The caffeine especially. I think Dom might actually like my fan fiction over on our slash fan fiction story and the dot two I mentioned last Sunday is a Princess Monin okay. Oh, nice. I know, is Dawn going to read that? God, she's got so many books. Dude, if you saw her Kindle, it is just janked with books. I think there's like 500 books in there. God, she reads a lot, though. So, you know what? Mention it. Mm. Thank you. You should watch an anime movie called Napping Princess. We actually, um, God. Oh, no, we didn't get that. We literally wanted to get that from the uh, local library because they had the, the, the Blu-ray for it, the movie. Um, and you know what happened? It was, by the time we got it, or they got it in, it was like the pandemic was like in full swing and I was going to go pick it up along with the Devil is a Part-Timer series. And I just didn't want to go to the library. I'm like, sorry, you can return it to the library you got it from. So now I'm going to have to wait before I can get it. I'm sure it's on a streaming platform by now, but this is what I wanted to see that like eight months ago. It was ridiculous. There was a lot of stuff that I was getting from other libraries. I always go to the library. Um, and it's like, I, ugh, I missed the library. Like a scary skeletons. Boo. Boo. Dumb fun anime, but without a twist. Kind of hard to recommend stuff since a lot of it has very ubiquitous Japanese comedy tropes that just don't translate well or get localized badly. Yeah, that I've understood. Random book, can you imagine a Flintstones and Jurassic Park crossover? Me, 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 me. Hey, Barney, I'm getting eaten here. <laughs> Oh man, I dude, I, I what am I gonna just? That would actually be pretty funny. It's in a manga style, so it's like two paragraphs worth of information. I abbreviated all the names to single letters, which they will be a reference bar at the top, but no picture. Still looking for someone to draw it. Oh God, yeah, finding artists is, I would say, difficult. Uh, it's difficult to find artists that don't have egos in this climate, I guess. It's weird. I don't know. Good luck. Work on it, though. Mm. In high school. Wait, hold on. There's another one. Another Super Bowl of anime to make it. Absolutely. First, uh, Merman in my tub. Merman in my tub. Really? Uh, the episode's about five, ten minutes each. is about a new young guy who saves a mer uh, merman and lets him live in his tub. The merman just experiences everyday human joys like bubble bath and, and or Halloween. What? That's awesome. I just want to hang out in a tub and just experience Halloween. That'd be pretty cool. Mm. That's good. Write it down. Uh, again, when I write it down, it's going to take forever for me to get the, to these things, you know. And I was friendly with everyone, but friendly with no one I hung out with, uh, staff. They like me because I brought coffee. Oh, that always works. Hey, I brought coffee. Oh, you're cool. Isn't that so weird? You got to, like, bribe people. Our library has curbside pickup. Yeah, I don't even want to do that. 
Because here's a, here's the thing about that, right? It's like if you're going to a library, people have touched those books. A lot of people, and yeah, Spank sometimes the, the, the bank with they put it in quarantine. But Got to go now, PG. Thank you for the stream today. Hey. I will catch the rest on YouTube. YouTube. Thank you once again for the Halloween stream. Yes, it was fun. Jim You're welcome. Love. Have a good day. Have a good day, Hagwitch. Thank you. Appreciate. It. What's up? Thanks for follow. No, it'd be cool. Um, no, no, no. The the libraries. It's like I I just I don't like I. Mm, I want to say. Highly trafficked area. I don't want stuff from a highly trafficked area. At least not yet. I'll go back to the library when I feel safe doing so. But right now. Are you a fan of Jason Mewes? Ah, go. Isn't that just Disney's movie, The 13th Year? Uh, is it? I don't know. It's so weird. I don't watch a lot of Disney anymore. I don't watch a lot of Disney anything anymore. I don't have Disney Plus. I don't care about The Mandalorian. Disney is like non-existent to me for some reason i've probably watched disney stuff and didn't even realize it uh, eh. uh, libraries are highly trafficked yes they really are you'd, you'd be surprised uh, 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 uh. primal is good just fuck it up to come to get a no speech uh only grunts and caveman noises mm -mm -mm. off to work have a good day hey teak there you go yeah, Barney gets cloned by accident when scientists find his DNA instead of dinosaurs. Oh, God. You just sit there listening to that laugh. <laughs> hey, Fred. Oh, God. <laughs> we cloned Barney. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, where's the nearest bowling alley? <laughs> uh, I don't watch a lot of Disney, but I do want to see a live action one. I, I know I've heard mixed things about that, but, you know, eh, I haven't seen it. Probably won't. I want to do a court and some of that ass because we're going to take them out of the people who may want to collab with them. Nah, I don't, I don't do like, I don't do collabs. I don't have time for collabs. I know he's Jake from Jane Silent Bob. If you're familiar with Kevin Smith and his movies. Yeah, I know who he is. Uh, I just don't have time for collabs like in any capacity. He's got a good voice though. I like his voice. It's nice and raspy. I wish I had a voice like that. Nicole, we can have a rasp off. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Might as well make another drawn together then. Oh, remember drawn together? Ah, uh, what happened at? Sadly, for the man, I don't get all the characters like in the manga. The shark man was excluded in the anime, but he is so sweet, he's nervous of uh, scaring others with his teeth, so he uses, he uses sign language. Oh, see, that would have been good to put in the anime. Why would they leave them out? Oh, man. Uh, so I'm going to say this is a good movie. Is it? Hmm. What did I start? I don't know what you started. To be fair, Barney was smarter than Fred. Um, yeah, but he had that laugh that just made his intelligence seem very, <laughs> you know. Uh, speaking of mermaids, ever watch from My Bright is a Mermaid, Good Wholesome Comedy? No, I haven't seen that. There's a lot I haven't seen. I've only had access to, like, a handful. You know, because, like, I don't subscribe to, like, Crunchyroll or any of that just because, you know, time constraints. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Yesterday was your birthday. Mine, technically. Yeah. Mm, go didn't have a second season. I had a second season. Write it down. Write it all down. Write it down. We got the uh, Christmas list of things we need to watch. I wish there was, I really do wish there was more time. You know, I, I would say stop working and, you know, doing so much work. But then it's like, what am I going to do? You know, you can't make a living sitting around watching anime unless you review it. Hey, you want to be an anime reviewer? Mm. I'll do that. And then I'll just criticize all the animes for not having uh, Halloween symbolism in it. I like this anime. The characters were lovable and whatnot, but, you know, there wasn't anything for the pumpkin demographic. What about people who enjoy Halloween or Day of the Dead? I didn't see any of that stuff in here. To me, this gets a 2 out of 10 stars, if that means anything to anybody. Fund. Halloween. Drawn together is how we got Pendy and Stocking. That was good. See, that was a, that was a good kind of like, there's a story there, but it's just so zany and off the wall. That's pretty good. I like that. It was fun. I love the style, too. It was so different, you know? That's what I kind of like, I gravitate to, is like these alternate Did styles. Did you never see the episode of Herbie Birdman, Attorney at Law? Of course, Barney Smarter. He's the head of the crime family. No, I, didn't, I missed that episode, actually. Again, at the time Harvey Birdman was on, I didn't have cable. Now we gotta look that up, man. Ugh. 
Uh, you really don't if watch I much. If I crash the system, do well, I have to clean it up? Yes. By the way, in most anime, Christmas is a romantic season because couples tend yeah. to hook up and celebrate for Christmas. New Year's is more about hanging out with the family. Opposite to the West, where Christmas is for the family and New Year's for friends and lovers. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, it's weird, right? It's all about Christmas over there. Christmas is a good thing, you know? Over here, we're just getting stupid gifts, and everyone's just like, oh, family arguing and stuff. Eh, not so weird. Hmm. That I picked up. What? I did. Shh. Uh, let's see. Uh, you really don't watch much anime. No, I don't I don't have a lot of time for a lot of anime. I can watch a couple of movies here and there, and, uh, you know, I've seen some of the, uh, oh, God, what's his face? Ah, uh, Ghibli. I got the, some, mo, I mean, well, not, not, I can't even say most of them at this point because they've come out with so many. I've just, I don't think I've seen all of them. I've seen a lot of them, um, but there's, there's time constraints. I know it's like, you know, everyone else has got free time. You're very, I would say if you have a lot of free time to watch a lot of anime, you should consider yourself very lucky. Because that's the one thing we don't have is free time. Sucks, but we enjoy what we do. So does it really suck? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I don't have a Crunchyroll, nor do I have streaming service, and VRV, which is free anime streaming. Write it down. Uh, and the problem with anime is I kind of need the dubs. I know that's like a bad word, but uh, if we have them on in the background while we're working, I, I can't look up there and read while we're trying to edit sound and do cartoons and stuff like that. And that's always the downside. It's like we have to kind of half watch things. Uh, oh, AMV, not IMV. I don't know what I've... This Halloween you use a solely under scenes with more Pesci. More Pesci? Like Joe Pesci? <laughs> uh, sorry, man. I'm literally being worried about the content of the air worldwide. Is the air suddenly filled with toxic pollution with small people with randomly with every day? Ah, uh, cold and it'll be fine. Don't stress about it. I watch dubs. You watch dubs. Dude, a lot of people don't like dubs. You t certain, hey, people were really into anime. If you watch the dubs, they're like, you're filth. And I would, I would actually rather do subtitles, but I just, I literally don't have, my eyes are being put to other uses at that point. But you can pick up a lot on audio. So, uh, That's fair, pumpkin guy. See? See? Thank you. Uh, if you want Western, I really keep on Dragon Abuse. Uh, very good Netflix project. Netflix projects. Hmm. How was your Halloween? It was cool. We did a Halloween stream. We had fun, even though Twitch messed up my post stream stuff. They're supposed to have two extra movies in it, but they muted the VODs for some reason because apparently they don't understand what public domain means. But there you go. Uh, just at the dub, don't have the feeling being expressed in the same anime subs. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I would ra rather watch uh, subtitles than, you know, dubs, but it kind of depends on what I'm doing at that time. I'll watch dubs. I'm just very picky over which ones I feel have good dubs. That is the other problem with dubs. If somebody comes in like a voice actor with a high squeaky voice, I'm just like, oh, oh, my ear. No. You know, and then they're like, no, 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 no. Disney of Japan, Hayao Miyazaki, Princess Mononoke, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, Kiki's Delivery Service, Bonnie of Porco Rosso, <laughs> The Secret World of Ariadne. When Marnie was there from up on Poppy Hill, my neighbor is the Yamada's spirited away Howl's moving castle. Yeah, I've seen like four of those. <laughs> no, probably around six. If you're in a moody, go. shake your booty. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law, was the best. They actually used the real voice actors of the old cartoons they made fun of. Like the one where they confirmed Scooby and Shaggy of being stoners. See, How come I only know certain phrases in Espanol? This upgrade is a failure. It is. Commas, do you need them? Every once in a while. But, you know, as a New Yorker, when you're talking, you don't want to use commas because commas end up holding up the conversation. Sometimes you just want to get away from the people you're talking to. I'm serious. You ever have a conversation with somebody and they keep going on and on and on and on? All you want to do is grab a soda from the thing when you're in a convenience store and they're just like, hey, buddy, blah, 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 and you're just like, all right, whatever, dude, I'm just going to get the soda. And then you go to the checkout and you're just trying to talk to people and then people are just like, oh, what's going on, man? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, all right, just get out of my way. I got to get this piece of bubble gum here, too. And here's some mints for yourself because your breath is terrible. All right, let's go. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for uh, let's get going. I'm going to go. You know, so you have to kind of work in New York sometimes. Yeah. Dude, commas will draw out a conversation. If you give people a pause for them to inject their own ideas, then you're dead. 
You will literally die talking to somebody in New York. Just keep going. Yeah, commas are overrated. You don't even have commas. Commas are, commas are for people who have nothing to say. If you have something to say, then you don't need commas, because then commas will just stop you from doing what you're supposed to do. You got to have like this. See, and then somebody else starts talking and you're doomed. You're doomed. Doomed. Let me get closer to the fire so it looks better. Doomed. Uh, New York City, get less long. Convo's not enough time. Yeah. No, nah, man. I, I know some people get like, every once in a while you run into like the old New Yorker who's like, Hey man, you know, it used to be across the street over there. And you know, they don't have commas either. So they just keep talking too. They're, yeah. They used to play this other place over there. They used to have a really good diner over there. But that place closed. And then this other place came in and I didn't even know those guys. And they came in, they went and that was it. And now see, it is what it is. And I've never even been there. You've ever been there. It's pretty good. I heard it got some, uh, you know, Oh God, it just goes on forever. And then you're just like, yeah, yeah, no, I haven't been there. And then you try to get a word in there just to cut them off to say that you're leaving. And it says, yeah, they got some really good eggs and stuff like that over there. But I think the guy who owns is probably a criminal. I, I, let me tell you about my friend who uh, used to be a criminal. He's not a criminal anymore. He's a good guy. He didn't what he needed to do during the time because, you know, times are hard and everything. But then he uh, kind of shaped up and did what he had to do. And now he's doing what he does over there. You know what I'm saying? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> And then all you can do is pray that somebody else he knows walks into the shop and then grabs his attention. So when he's talking about his friend... You're still doomed. Still doomed! Yeah, so then when somebody else comes in, grabs his attention, he's like, Hey, bye, buddy. All right, see you later, buddy. Those are your segues. Got to take advantage of them. You got to be like this guy. Go, go, go! Yeah, that, that... Commas causes, pauses the breath. Well, sometimes breathing does that, too. Uh, what have the comment about Uh, let's see. New York City get those convos, not enough time. Now, I remember that. Uh, probably why I live in the South. I don't have to deal with people like that. Yeah, but then some people in the Chameleon. South. Chameleon. Some people in the South talk way too slow, and they're like, hey, buddy. How you doing today? I haven't seen you in like. What? A week? At least. How's the family going? And you're like, family's fine. Great. That's great to hear. You know. And you're like, oh, God, hurry up. <laughs> I don't know. Slow talkers. I can never find a happy medium with people who talk at a good pace but aren't super slow or just don't shut up. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, though, in the South, you know, you meet somebody who's got that little bit of word of words of wisdom stuck behind a long winded story that takes several hours to get through. It's almost worth it. You know, and that's how you just live life. And you're like, Phew. took seven hours to get there. But still, what's up? Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Uh, I prefer subs. There's more anime with a decent dubs like Outlaw Star, Cowboy Bebop, some of the can expect to be since don't judge. I say to be ready for streaming services. Write it down. Uh, I'm probably living in the South. I don't have to deal with people like that. Really? Hmm. Like Cowboy Bebop, I'm going to be good for the 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 characters. Yeah, I don't like when they change names of the characters either. Uh, let's see. Mm. Go. Even worse, in my opinion, are hand talkers. I always have the feeling they're trying to distract me from something. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. We kind of do that, too. You know, uh, hey, mostly that's an Italian thing. They always talk with their hands. You know, it's like I we've had ver numerous conversations where people are looking at us like we're a magician, like we're waiting. What? Well, look, like I'm pulling coins that are behind people's ears or, you know, oh, this is your card. You know, and I'm sorry. You know, that's the thing. We're very distracting sometimes. Sometimes our nubs go flying around and we're just like, whatever. We were actually on a line in a post office and we were talking to Don and the guy behind us is like, you're Italian, aren't you? We're like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, I can notice your arms are flailing around while you're talking. I know. It's very expressive. I kind of like that. It keeps people engaged. You know, you ever just talk to somebody who just has their hands like this? Hey, how's it going? What's going on? You doing all right today? It's really great, isn't it? It's a big difference. It's like, hey, how's it going? How are you doing? You doing all right today? See, it's more animated. It makes it more engaged. Uh, hands are a form of expression. What? A deaf person. What? Ah, uh, hand talk. Really? Yeah, hand talk. Everyone hand talks. I, I, I enjoy it actually. You know, it gives it. It shows the um, emotion in their, 
dialogue, usually our, our hands will stop moving when we're generally not interested in a conversation. That's when we just fold them and we put them down. It's like we've muted ourselves. We pressed the mute button. You know? There's that old Italian joke. You know, how do you get an Italian Keep to stop talking? Keep your gets to yourself. You hold down his hands. Mankind could harness the arm energy of Italians. I know, right? No, there is that joke. You know, how do you get an Italian to stop talking? You, you hold his arms down. That's literally, it's an old joke. No, I'm not even joking about that. Mankind, that would be cool, though. You know, think of all that kinetic energy happening. I'm part Italian, and I hand talk a lot. See, there you go. Hand talk. You think, hey, you think Italians do a lot of hand talk would be good at martial arts? Because it's just a lot of hand movement, right? I think that'd be pretty good. Mm. Mm, never heard of the dance hand job? Jazz nubs. Uh, da -da -da -da. But I don't want an engagement. That's not what I'm saying. Hmm. Hands are... For, no, I got that. Uh, that might be a joke, but it's true about silence. <laughs> might be a joke, but it's true. Uh, I never heard that one. You never heard that one? I don't know. That was like a, kind of an old-timey joke, I guess. Because I, I remember... I think your grandfather told that to you once. You know? Off the boat Italian. And he's just like, hey, this is a... You know, and he's heard that numerous times growing up. So it's kind of like, you know, mm, that's a good one. As Italian descendant, I do so too. Do do I have the social skills to use them properly? That's kind of the only time I do talk in you know IRL. When I got to talk to somebody, I am very boisterous with my hand gestures, almost comedically so. Where I'm like, "Hey, how's it going? What's up? Hey, what's going on? Oh, this is a cool pen, man. Where'd you get this pen? Yeah. So it's weird. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Cause if I just sit there and I pretend like. I don't want to pretend that I'm interested in what they're saying kind of thing and just be like, yeah, because it, it'll, we have, we have a difficult time hiding our Boop. disdain Pop. for particular the conversations. Spanish language is odd ever. It's super local, like Texas Spanish sounds different from California Spanish. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, that, dude, that's, that's the same thing with English in England. You know, you go, you go North, you go South. It's like a completely different language. It's crazy. Same thing with just American English. You go to the South, it's like, oh, and it's like, you get, sometimes you get that Boomhauer pocket and you're just like, what? You know? But then you get into that New York area where everyone talks really fast and you're just like, yo, slow it down, bro. And then you get to Boston and it gets all squiffy. Uh, let's see. Mm, da -da -da, Italian alphabet. Oh, geez. Italian hand gestures are essentially a form of dialect. Yeah. Didn't they turn that into like an uh, emoji, like the hand gesture? Uh, Spanish is odd, English isn't even a language. There's three languages in a trench coat trying to pass as one. That's fine. Regional dialects, yep. You're making New Yorkers sound like cartoon characters. Uh, have you ever been to New York? <laughs> I'm seriously. I've been the highest twice in my life this week at 11,227 feet driving through the Eisenhower Tunnel in Colorado. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say congratulations uh, Let's see If someone started talking like that from the series uh, Later can't even get them done what? Why not mm -hmm. Hi Pokemon and how's your Halloween Ravex how's it going It's pretty good Pretty good Halloween Got candy and all sorts of stuff When I use my hands I notice people just watch my hands And then wacky waving inflatable tube women Dude hey that, that helps too yeah? Especially if you got something stuck in your teeth You can distract them Always happens. Every time you go outside, you always get this bagel bit stuck in your tooth. It's usually like a poppy seed or something. I hate that. They're so difficult to dig out. Cartoon characters got it from somewhere. There's a reason more than half a dozen comic book uh, companies were born in New York City. Well, that's the thing. Yo, if, if you live in New York, you have, especially if you're an artist who's doing character creation, you have literally millions of types of people to draw from, you know? And, you know, it's, God, especially in New York, any large city, really. But, um, you know, hey, cross, cross walk of the world kind of thing where you could just, like, you need to find somebody who's uh, overly flamboyant. You know, hey, go to a particular part of New York. You'll find one. There's your, there's your source material. It's, it, it's easy. It really is the easy to create when you 
meet so many different people because, you know, you get to see how other people are. Yeah. Mm. And dialects with Pennsylvania, uh, Dutch is another thing. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I heard they're coming back. I'm hyped. What? Mm. Haven't been in New York yet. Uh, I dread the traffic there. Yeah, traffic is going to be a little rough. I mean, technically, it's not bad now just because nobody's really roaming the streets, but still. To draw from, more ways to win. Yep. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. All right, talk amongst yourselves. I need water. No, I'm parched here. A little New York talking. Mm. People watching is awesome. Just find a nice Park Street. That's well before the pandemic anyway. Yeah, it was. Oh, people watching was awesome. I always used to do that. Hang out in like a coffee shop and just watch people bicker. You know? A lot of characters that way. Mm. Uh, Hampton Roads when it comes to accents and dialogues. I live in Great Britain, Chesapeake, Virginia, uh, close to North Carolina. When I talk to people from Norfolk, which is north of us, start asking where I'm from. Oh, God. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I'm in a decent mood right now. Let's see. Uh, feeling a little better. None of them here because uh, what I was down at what gets crazy in convos. Love for Portland, dress, key dress. Hey, nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm. Have you purchased your discount Halloween candy yet? It is all super cheap starting today at stores. So they can make room for Christmas. Boo. Boo. Yeah, I don't know if we need any more candy. Ugh, I've had a lot of candy the last couple of days. Mm, love you, Tad. Please take care of yourselves. Hydrate, stretch, eat. Oh, yeah, you got to hydrate and stretch. There we go. Stretch. I think all new drivers should be mandated to drive a manual transmission vehicle for two years so that makes them better drivers as what hand will they put their cell phone in if they have to shift their vehicle by hand in a manual. That's actually a pretty good idea. But you know they'll still be holding the phone and not, you know, holding the wheel. So they'll find a way. Idiots find a way. Um, yeah, but eventually all cars will just drive people where they need to be anyway. So, mm. I think we'll just be on a, a renting kind of thing. Uh, you can still go to Tower One. They have a lookout in the city. Why? I don't, don't want to do that. Then you have Navy. What? And I think I'm all caught up. As a manual transmission driver, trust me, we find our ways. See, that's what I'm saying. They all find a way. Don't do that. Don't drive with a phone. Ever. Uh, about to eat bacon cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger. Oh, left you Rolos. Ooh, I got Rolos, Smarties, Skittles, Reese's, Snickers, and a peanut butter cookie. Oh, my God. Hope's going to make me all fat. Thank you, Hope. I appreciate. Be well. All that stuff. We are wrapping up, though. So we're going to be wrapping up relatively soon. Um, I don't know, like five minutes or so. Because we got tons of stuff to do after this. Gallons. Uh, there was a jerk who took both hands off the wheel to flip off people with both hands and mo almost rear-ended a bus for getting to use his brake. Oh, good job. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Ever had Canadian Smarties? No. You already ate, so you're ready. Oh, EBD is going to be streaming. Oh, there you go. Nice. So you write any animes or watch from the last conversation? Did you write? Dude, I got a list. I got a whole list of stuff. What am I going to do? Who knows when I'll get to them, though. Tons of stuff to do and tons of candy to eat, right? No, no, no. I'm going to try to ease up on candy. Maybe I'll have a salad today. I'm going to have a salad. A salad with some tomatoes and onions. Maybe part a partial cucumber. Uh, up loves you. Let's see you on Wednesday. Take care. Later. Thank you. Mm. Caesar salad. Oh, yeah. Do we have any dressing or am I just eating dry leaves? What's happening? Have you heard any good music lately? No, because I've been too busy editing sound like an idiot. I gotta, I gotta listen to L Storm after this. Pirate middle. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I already had a salad with tomatoes, cucumber, bell peppers, and cheese. What? Before me? Rude. Uh, yeah, you can manage to drive with a stick, hold a phone, and steer with your knees. Oh God, don't do that. <sighs> 
Hail storm is awesome. Well, we'll see. See. Your fund. Well. Did you know Jack O' Lanterns were originally made with turnips? Yes, I do. There were there were better times for us pumpkins. Better times. Not so much for the turnips, but you know we were pretty good. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, we're not getting into Christmas if yet. If you're in the moody, shake your booty. I'd share some of my cucumber, watermelon, red onion, and feta salad with you if I could. Wait, oh, you're putting feta with watermelon. Can you do that? How long is your list, please, show? Oh, God. Dude, what is it like? What what size is your font? There's probably like 40 different things on there. I know. No, between music, movies, and all that other stuff, it's probably about 40 different things. There's a lot. God. I, I, you know, here's the thing, man. I wish there was, just, again, more time in the day, but I really wish there wasn't so much cool stuff being pushed out. You know, pre-internet, I wouldn't have known about any of this stuff. Now I'm just inundated with like, hey, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. You know, pre-internet, it'd be like, if you knew somebody who had it, maybe you'd be exposed to it. Yeah, also meant more back then, just saying. Uh, I have my list, can I try, what? 250, five years ago, what? Oh, don't, oh God, don't, don't even look at my watch lists, man. They are huge. Uh, the saltiness of the feta really complements the sweet watermelon. Really? I would never have put those two together in my mind. Like, I am surprised they are in the same supermarket, uh, frankly, because they just seem two polar opposites. Wow. No, thank you. I like my watermelon sweet on it soon. Maybe can you eat like, a piece too. Ah. Yeah, your cat keeps showing, wanting to steal popcorn from you guys. I don't know what it is. It's like the person who had the cat beforehand just kept feeding her popcorn. Uh, why haven't I been on the front page of Twitch? I, I don't know. You figure yesterday would have been a good time for that, right? Twitch. Hey, it was Halloween yesterday, and I wasn't on the front page. I'm just saying. Missed opportunity. I, don't, I think because I don't have uh, a d different color hair and I'm not saying bruh a lot. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I, I have to pepper my words with bruh a lot. And uh, what, I got to drink some kind of gamer gamer liquid or something? Some kind of energy drink? Is that what I have to do? Have you played Among Us? Yeah, I played it a couple of times. I'm like, yeah, I get it. Um... Be careful feeding your cat popcorn. Salt is really bad for cats. We don't, we don't put salt on our popcorn. Are you kidding me? We get the low salt stuff. No, I've, our, our palate have actually developed to a very low salt kind of intake. I don't know why food has got so much salt in it to begin with. Like everything has got gallons of salt in it. I'm like, why? I make one day a month so I can try and catch up on everything. No work, no play. Just watch. Lucky. We should do that. We should just take off one day and just binge watch stuff. I wanted to watch Truth Seekers with Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. The, the season came out. Thankfully, they're short episodes. They're like a half hour long. Yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Mm. Everything must be clean. Bruh. You need a V-neck hood as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need a V-neck hoodie, and I got to say... Uh, like, follow, subscribe. I got to do that a lot. And I got to just say, uh, ya boy, a lot. It's ya boy, pumpkin guy. Um, and uh, what's the other one? Let's go! Yeah, that, that one. Um, what else? So, bruh, let's go, ya boy, v neck, and um, what else? Isn't there something else? Do we need panda emotes? Those are cool, though. What else do we need? I don't know. What else do we need? What other what other gaming elements do we need to be a popular streamer? <laughs> How to be successful in Twitch. Be a VTuber. Have boobs. Oh, okay. Hold on. Um, do we have any golf balls here I can use? Is that it? Watch memes. Play Genshin Impact. Drink you. Hey! I play Genshin Impact. Your watch list is equal to my listen to. Yeah. At least you can get through music a lot quicker because it's only like, you know, every song is only like a couple of minutes, you know? Uh, oh, oh yeah, I need a, a simp audience. That's what I need. Uh. Hey, you need a simp audience. Usually people who say bruh are for people from Hawaii and drive no roof jeeps. Bruh. 
Bruh. Bruh. Got to say he heckin'. Heckin' lots. All right. So let's see if I can get them all. I'd be like, bruh, this is like heckin'. Hold on. Good gamer fuel, bruh. Uh, let's go. Does that work? V-neck. V-neck hoodie. Uh, let's see. Heckin'. Boop. Who says heckin'? Bop. Veep. Boop, bop, beep. I've also been playing Genshin Impact. It's suspiciously good for a free game. It really is. How come I only know certain phrases in Espanol? I don't know. This upgrade is a failure. What's up, peeps? It's your boy, Pumpkin Guy. Hey! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe a heckin' lot, brah. It's game time. Let's go. Let's go! There you go. That should be my catchphrase. What's up, peep? It's your boy, Pumpkin Guy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, heckin' lot, bro. It's game time. Let's go! Playing game industry back right now, my boys. God, that makes me just want to puke in my throat a little bit. Ugh. Oh, must have been all that gamer fuel. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> like, please, please. Oh, my God. It feels so disingenuous and soul-suckingly hollow to even say it in parody. Oh, oh, God. Oh, it hurts. It hurts my soul. Oh, I'm going to have to sacrifice myself and just burn off part of my flesh as, as penance. Oh. Ugh. Good. Now, I saw a video on Genshin Impact where somebody was complaining that they they spent two grand trying to unlock the character Klee. Clay? K-L-E-E? -E. I don't know, some weird little elf girl or something. Um... It was a YouTuber, of course, though, you know. Then they played the drama card, like, oh, I can't believe I spent so much. This is so wrong. How could a game be like this? Yeah, whatever. Like, follow, subscribe, all that. Um, hey, you want to hear something funny? Um, for those who don't know, Genshin Impact, when they have their server downtime, they gave out, like, free coins that you can use. Well, they're called, like, whatever things that you apply to their versions of loot crates. Clay. Dude, I, like, in two pulls, man. It was just like, no, okay, got a dumb weapon. Oh, look, Klee. Hey, all right. Okay, what else? That's it. Literally, I use just the free currency that they give you. You can earn it in-game, you know? But the, there was, a, like, article about everybody trying to get the newest character really quick so they can show their YouTubers and stuff like that. What, what, a, what a crazy existence, you know? Just to, if you're constantly living to be better than the next channel next to you, Wow, you must have zero fun in anything you do. Oof. God. Bruh. Uh, Clay is a pyro explosive. Yeah. That's a, and a, the character is okay. A bit squishy. But, uh, you know, whatever. I there already is nothing got... wrong with being loco. Hey. When you see what normal is. Hey. Gotcha games. If you're paying to win, you're the reason why these games are taking over and we haven't gotten better games in the past five plus years. Pretty much. Dude, I, I've just been roaming through the land in my spare time. I've been opening up, like, little things, exploring. Um, they they give you a lot of in-game currency within that game. You know, and the problem is nobody's patient because there's all this, quote-unquote, ambient pressure to be the best. And, hey, if, if that's what you got to do, then so be it. But, you know, uh, you're spending way too much on a game that basically requires nothing from you. Sorry. But you, you guys the are the whales out there. What's that? I can see it. You become a popular streamer and get sponsored by G Fuel or some game or energy drink. Watch it be like foamy themed or pills e themed. Good lord. I can see pills e G Fuel be so packed full of caffeine you'll be as strung out as him lol. Right? Depending on how much you have to catch up on I would suggest one to two days I only follow maybe three manga and five anime and I'm an over the road truck driver so I can catch up on that on Monday. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I gotta whittle, whittle away my watch list or I will be dead before I watch anything. So that is a good point. I gotta maybe stop adding stuff to it and just go through what we got and just hold on to the good stuff and, you know, find some other stuff here and there. Ah, bruh. Bruh. I'm trying to put bra in as much time as many times as possible. Uh, let's see. Sorry to repeat again. Check out so fast. Please take care of yourself and left on. Yeah, of course. I uh, do the rest and relax too. I don't like resting and relaxes. Every time we try to do that, we just think of doing work. Uh, please don't Spank overwhelm yourself. Nah, we're good. Go. Also, hi, pumpkin guy. It's been a while since hey. I've last been in stream. 
How are things been going for you guys? So far, so good. And uh, you know what? A, a sugar skull emote would actually be a really good one, actually. I love sugar skulls. Dude, you ever look in the, into the artistry of them? Like, there, there are a lot of them that are handmade from, like, 50-year-old molds. It's amazing to me, you know? They're expensive as bleep, though. But, I mean, they're pretty good. I don't know. I, I'm just saying, I like it. Dude, there's a lot of artistry in that. I, I'm, I'm not very you know, great at making thing. molds. Thank so. you. What's up? G Fuel and Pills, it's perfect. Oh, G, what, what a G, G Fuel and Pillsy. That's what you need. Oh, now it's got like eight, 8 billion times the caffeine. If you want to drink something and die immediately, there you go. Yeah, that kind of thing. That'd be crazy. Ah. Same bro, fast enough, sounds like a motorcycle. Yeah, there you go. Let's go! <laughs> oh, God, that, that still hurts. Uh, is it bra or bra? Bra, 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 uh, I can't wait to wake up again at 2 a.m. for work in the morning. No, man. It's a bro down. It's a bro down, bro. This bro and this bro is going to Let's go. Bro. God. What happened? Like, what happened to people? My God. I, I, I gotta tell you, I've, I've actually watched streamers like that just to see what the deal was, and I'm just like... Ugh. For the anime fund. What's up? Perhaps Bill Z could get a Pfizer sponsorship. Oh, yeah, because that's that's the person, the one with the most side effects. You want sponsoring the medical companies. <laughs> that would that'd be a total mismatch. Uh, people are dumb, always have been. Uh, Evie's waiting. Evie's waiting. We gotta wrap up. Um, doing that, you sound like a motorcycle struggling to kick over. Yeah, pretty much. Like, follow, subscribe. Let's go. <laughs> G Fuel. Oh, man. Dude, it is. Oh, God. I don't know. I just I like when people mm -hmm. hang yes, out and yes. just be people. What's up? Kills EG Fuel. When you want to pull a 60 hour stream nonstop, then you don't get to sleep for another 48 hours. Enjoy the lack of sleep and the dragons on your walls, Kappa. Dragons for the manga the fund. Rx stands for good drugs. Rx stands for me just seems like it stands. It's like an abbreviation for Rex. Like you just got wrecked by the drugs you were taking. Rx. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm going to laugh for G Fuel sponsoring you. I don't think G Fuel is going to be sponsoring us anytime soon. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, are you slowly becoming blue from Blue's Clues? I, I don't think so. Uh, good vibes to all. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Sarah Zephyrin, thank you. Appreciate it. Wasn't able to make your stream yesterday. Hope you're having a great day. So far, so good. Huh? We got ghosts still taking our sugar skulls. Oh, thanks a lot. We don't get those back, do we? They're like, like whatever takes them, keeps them, right? Uh, hide, that, hide that one by your leg, all right? I want one later. All right. So, um, G Fuel has lead in it. So, what, really? Lead? Hmm. All right. Well, on that note, um, Ebi Demon gonna be streaming. Ebi Demon gonna be streaming. Are you streaming? I don't want to sing a song if you're not streaming. Ghosts eat them. Yeah. Thanks for all the great streams this week. Hey, thank you for watching them. Appreciate it. Our little sugar skull design. They're so pretty. Seriously, look them up. Like, look up sugar skulls. Some some of them are so des are designed so well. You're just like, why is this food? Shouldn't this be in a museum? It's insane. Yeah. Hey, come back with that. Oh, you... <sighs> all right, whatever. It's their day. They can have all the sugar skulls they want. I just kind of wanted to have some left over. Just saying. All right. Um. Yep. All right stands for redundant xenophobe. Bruh. <laughs> We got one more. Hold on. I love your beats. And thank you for them. Hey. Happy Sunday, Pumpkin Guy, Jim and Dawn. Have a wonderful week. Wonderful everyone. week. Where's my outro music? Hold on. Thanks for the follow. Icarus, thank you. Appreciate it. Go, go, go. Uh, Catman, thank you. Get for my outro music.
Give me Demon Gone be streaming. Give me Demon Gone on be streaming. I don't like using my left hand to move things around. Oh, God. Stop touching things. I'm trying. Whatever happened to Skull Candy headphones? They still exist, but you can't eat them. How long would it take to clean the entire internet? Long time. Be nice to the spirits. They're only here for two days. I know, I know. I'm just saying. They could leave something for me. We went through a lot of trouble. Just saying. Hey, don't take all of them. Leave one for me. I did a lot of work. Spirits out there. Just saying. Everybody enjoy day to day. This human is not terrible. Take care and have a beautiful day. You too. And remember, take a moment to appreciate those before you that got you where you are today. You know, relatives, grandparents, fill in the blank. They're out there somewhere. Have a good one. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang.